Warning. This podcast may contain adult content or language. It also might contain content that could be seen from others as uncomfortable or upsetting due to personal reasons. If that is the case, then please proceed with caution or stop the video as we at the table are comfortable in most circumstances. This is a safety blanket meant for all individuals watching these episodes as it is unclear what story content will be displayed. Hope you enjoy the story. So what are you gonna do about the rest of us then? Like, I'm a sea hag, but a night hag. All right, I'm gonna do a link stab. Do not cause trouble. This is trouble. He I'm about to get bitch slapped by a half one. Grabs him, pulls out Moon Shadow, and holds it to his neck. Let's give these a signal. So you begin, you begin communicating. <laughs> the ground is eating a troll. I don't like this ground. Oh yeah, I just completely forgot it. So what do I need to roll? You can see Rex literally eating his dice. Yeah! Use that frying pan as a drying pan. Make me a stab! You use your action to cast fly. Fuck! It's just a time. I, I can't. Convey a message of what the fuck are you saying? Be quiet. I'm gonna tackle that troll and maul it to death. Hopefully. Oops. I'll observe. Got disadvantage on it. Yeah, that's a two. You stab the one you were talking to. You hear yes. Um, those that are looking back, all you hear is no. You look at Ryder, nothing. You look at everyone else, turn back. He has a shovel. <laughs> If I think it was the most charming Ryder Hopkins, and I am very exhausted. You can pay to say I'm a golfer. I'm a golfer. Rex Rear is here. And I am your DM. Welcome back to Miss World Adventures. Where the players make plans and horribly execute them, along with having unexpected guests open the door in the middle of our takes. So, this is take two. She said we smeal. We smeal. I mean, we're in a cramped kitchen. So. Shh, what's up, Matt? <laughs> They're going to, the fans are going to find us now. I think the audio informs them of that. But anyways, <laughs> whatever blankets on probably helps. Where we last left off, the group had gone and investigated more of a house and found the key to the basement level. That is generally what happened in a lot of just searching other rooms, a lot more suit combat. Um, so there was a moment where Gopher and Jacqueline got sucked beneath the floor as they opened a coffer, which is the triggering mechanism that caused it. And that's where we left off. Before we continue, if you're interested, check out RPG League at their landing page, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter for any kind of tabletop RPG exclusive type of content. They have good reviews on uh, a lot of different tabletop RPGs. So check them out at their landing page of www.rpgleague.com. And that's where we'll continue. You usually does that before the recap. <laughs> I do. Uh-huh. I like to mix it up some. Generally because I forget. Yeah. <laughs> It was like one episode where I didn't do it, but... Zakaris! You have fallen flat on your back on uncomfortable great. It's basically like trying to step... What are you two doing? It's basically you fell on top of a sewer grate. And below you is just more rushing water. Oh, that hurt. Everyone, everyone up from up top can tell that the water in the fountain is completely gone, and the entire surrounding has just dropped. But you also hear is... Uh, we should get down. I, can I slide against the wall? It, you can make an, a, a, a dexterity check. To Actually, try to, or you can put down some rope and hold climb on. down. I have 50, 50 feet of ropes. Do you have something to tie it to? Is there in the stairs? <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Okay. Yeah, easy enough. Uh, um, we'll, yeah, we'll tie it around the thing of the stairs. 
the result of rail. Yeah, five foot rail. <laughs> also possible. Uh, uh, easy I, enough. I thought that five foot rail almost got rusted. I had a stupid idea, but no, no I'm not gonna do it. You know, jump down, thunder clap. No, I'm, I'm gonna jump down, geyser. No. Like Mario Sunshine. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Anyways, easy enough. You're able to put down hemp and rope and inch your way down into the green. So wait. all of you are there. Uh, wait. Oh yes. Who is my thing? Here you go. Is go for. Oh. Um, you have probably a few minutes left, not too much longer. Oh, uh, so Jack will just jump down. Okay, yeah. Here you go, gopher! What's he doing? Giving you the boat? Boots? Yeah, boots. Okay, I appreciate the attunement to him. So we'll just break them. Huh? It doesn't say it requires attunement. I think it does. Yeah, it does. Underneath the title? Yep. Underneath oh, the... yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you, you can wear them, but you won't gain any benefits unless you guys should take a short rest. Okay. I want to take a short rest, but then. We'll just take a nap right here. <laughs> For an hour. You're going to have to wait till your wizard gets their double spots. That's not That's not a good one. That was <laughs> uh, no, because the oven had a bow. Anyways, everyone is there now. What are you guys doing? Do you guys want to try to rest or keep going? What you can see is torch sconces that line the walls down towards I, a long hallway to your left and some to your right. I look up, just the thing closed. The what things? The, the thing we came down of. Do they have a close or is it still Nope, it's still open. You guys want to keep going? Do, IG, do we hear the stomps though? Or? Not down here. You can hear them above you for a brief time, but then they fade. I feel like we should at least try to rest for an hour. Get our strength up. I mean... You guys are standing on top of a grate. Of a what? Of a grate. Yeah, but it's a pretty great grate. Yeah. I knew that was coming. <laughs> you could say it was uh, greater. That wasn't it. <laughs> you don't even know what's down here. There could be more of those things controlling down here. I mean, this look like a we'll sewer. be we can't we can't want to put each person resting, looking each way in a log of something showing up. It looks less of a sewer and more of like a catacomb. Catacomb. Okay. So there's stone walls and there's just dirt ground. If anything, I'd rather be safe than sorry and we can rest. Yeah, you definitely dropped ten feet down. Who? Let's take a vote here. Who votes we rest an hour? Scarce. We can sure try. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, object. Alright. Do not vote for or against it. Rex? I guess I'll vote for it. I'll go for it. I want to be in my top notch situation right now as possible. And well, some of us are pretty good. Sorry, Felix. Nami's vote with our group. We're rested. <laughs> Alright. Alright, and then. If we die. Yeah, I will say I told you someone had it. They can, uh, do a song of rest? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you start playing, and we get echoes out throughout the hallways. <laughs> okay, so, hit die now or no? Well, the moment passes, the guys are just kind of relaxing. Uh, it as, we, um, as we do this, I pull on some of the shadows from around, and I form a, a dome over us uh, using my ability. Uh, the moonlight and shadow, how giving us a plus work? five bonus to our stealth and. So how does that work? Do you need? Does it need to be? Is it instantaneous, or is it when you uh, start or when you when take a short rest? On any type of rest, yeah. On any type of rest, you can use it. Okay. <clears throat> so what he does is, as you guys are just kind of relaxing, um, kind of propping yourselves up against the walls, finding a nice mesh to kind of sit against so that water's not falling on top of you, that's drizzling from the top. Um, Zakaris kind of like puts his hand down and this like darkish energy kind of flows from the shadows beneath you all and it coats around a certain distance and you guys feel a lot calmer surprisingly even though it's of its dark nature you guys feel a lot more calm and a lot quieter so an hour passes and you guys get a short rest in attuned to certain my, things if you attune my... bark inspirations are back because of your font of magic you got your armor, so flip it over. I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds on myself at second level. Okay. Oh, you have hit dice though. You, want you do have hit dice. You can you just use. off of hit dice. Uh, before I use that, are you using magic for us though? Or not? I don't have any magic I can use on all of you. 
Yeah, you can use hit dice instead. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to use my hit dice then. What is it? Plus six? Oh, is it plus, plus a d6. D6 for my songs of rescue now? Yep. Okay. Or d d8. For yeah, now it's a d8. Okay. What? Oh, I'll find out this way. I, can, I just get it back anyways as well. So. Well, so, yeah, but okay, sure. I mean, I, I can use hit dice after it too. Well, so you use, you're use curing yourself before you take the rest? Yes. How many Warlock spell slots do you have left? Because that would put you... I have Arcane Recovery, which I can use during a short run. Gotcha. Okay, so you're getting your, all your spell slots back after using this. Yeah. Okay. I know I asked this already before. Uh, how many? Do I get four? How do I get four? It depends on your level. Is so your level? My blood level? Your hit dice? No, my, uh... Five is bad. Body hands inspiration. You get four because of your charisma. Charisma, that's right. Okay. If your charisma ever goes to five, you get a fifth one. The song of rest affect me too. Yeah. It affects everyone who's taking a short rest, so if you only use it once though. Yeah, so you only get one D6 that's okay. added to it. So wait, so one D6. Or D8. D8, sorry. Oh, yeah, it's D8 now. I love it up. That will make here with your shield, Jacqueline, an AC of 18. Yeah. Yeah. How long do these temporary damage have last? They would fade after a short rest. Let's take a rest, all of your temporary hits. Let's fade. Uh, it says you hit die. Yeah. Uh, it depends on your level. So you put three and uh, barbarian. So you can. You have three and barbarian, two. Oh, so wait, yeah, does song, song of Rest affects all of us? So yes. Yeah. Song of Rest affects, I think it's like Anyone who's around creatures or something. Yeah. So you just get another D8. Basically, when you use a hit dice, you can add a D8 to your total. Oh, it's specific. Oh. It's not it's every single two, time. Yeah, it's, it's just, just when once. you use ones. It's just when you take a short rest, you add a D8. You basically just get another D8. <laughs> yeah. so, Tyler, my, my, my um, temporary hit ones were at 58, or was it 56? Because I had 64 in total, and I was from the... Oh, from being hurt? Um, yeah. I think it was 56, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, you lost 8 in total, because the first one was yeah. 2, and then it was 3 and 3. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Or it was 3, 2, 3. It, whatever, there was a 2, and then there was yeah. 2, 3. All I know is 56. I got my all... Oh, back. Okay. All so I got a D, 3, D, I, I think you're all. using all your hit dice? <laughs> or are you using... Or, I'm using a hit dice, so I get a free one. Like, Song you, get you get a free one, and then you get a D8, and then uh, if you're using, because you're full wizard, right? No. Wizard I have armor. So it would be a D8, D8. So it would be 2D8, unless you're using more hit dice. You can use as much as you want. Are you using two hit dice? I'm using one. So then you only Song get... of Rest gives me a, one, a free one. Yep. So you'd have 2D8. Yeah, I, mean, I think you said 3D8. No, I said free. Oh, free <laughs> D8. Yes. I used all my hit damage. Jacqueline, I know. Did you? Yeah. yeah. How hurt were you? I was very hurt. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. Zacharias, how, how are you healing up? I am at peak condition. How, how many hit dice did you have to use? Uh, only the one. What? Oh, really? What's your hit dice? What, 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 what dice do you have to use? D8. D8. So it's going to be 2.8s? Uh, two sevens. I'm like three points away from. Oh. Okay. I'm so five. Uh, you also add your con to those as well for everyone. Oh. Just. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah you so add your con to your dice rolls. Yeah, my con. So yeah, my be, con too. Oh. That's just for the. It's just for the, the one hit dice. And then if yeah. you roll another one, you add it again. Jacqueline, I noticed you're wearing new armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah what is it? it? Yeah, oh, yeah, so my illusion wear though? Uh, yeah, your illusion finally wears off. I open the, the box! Deck, the deck does open. <laughs> oh, shit. You guys want to see a magic trick? Sure. Oh, you two. You guys haven't seen what this did yet. You saw me, make I was a, gonna go. Make a perception check as well. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. So uh, nine. Nine, okay. So if, if my constitution modifier is plus two, I would gain an extra six. If you use three, three hit dice, yeah, then okay. you would gain six more. Uh, you guys want to see a magic trick? I'm also three away from full. <laughs> Do you want to see a magic trick? I draw. Okay. okay. I draw one. Okay. okay. I was going to say, let the culture draw one. I don't have to attune to this, right, Tyler? Nope. It's just a magic item. Anyone can technically use it. I'm going to just take it. So okay. We're going to reach out the table. in the bag. The box is right over here. It's right there. It's right there? Okay. okay. So I'm just going to give you the box at that point. Okay, yeah. Okay. 
I guess, it's, but you would just shuffle it then? Oh yeah, pick one. Oh yeah, I can choose any one now, I guess. Let's choose this one. Ha ha! It's the same one. Same one! No, I got clubs. I got got clubs last time. Oh yeah, you're right. What does the card say? Oh yeah! I have it now. Military. And, uh... Gender chosen by player. It was Jax. Uh, yeah, Any gender. I'll be, I'll, be a, I'll be a chick. Okay. And then uh, military. That's what it says for spades. Yeah. So basically, after you pull the card, the energy flows down your arm, and the card just flicks off, goes into the deck, and the deck quickly shuffles, and then goes into the box. Um, the energy that goes through changes into what looks to be like you're wearing solid plate armor. And the thick gauntlets and gloves that goes up that turns into like a breastplate and uh, I look like Hilda. Uh, what's that? Hilda. Yeah. Hilda. Dorna. Hilda. Dorna. Dorna. Yeah. Dorna. Yeah. Dorna. Dorna. Hector. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, she she is muscular, has thick metal plated armor on, and has a very strong looking battle axe on her back. My my cheeks turn bright red. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Spare, guess you remember me, big boy? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and why would this magic trick turn you into your greatest fear? <laughs> That's a good point. Why your greatest fear? So, to strike what? fear at others. So what are you guys doing? All right. I, there's yeah. two passages. There's one that's a long stretch to your left and a uh, okay, fairly cool. long stretch to your right. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I don't think we should split up. <laughs> no, I'm just God. I don't think we should split up. I think we should stick There's together. No <laughs> you just hear me in a manly woman voice. I think we should split up. I think we shouldn't split up. <laughs> Do we hear anything from either of the hallways? No, it is silent. I say we keep this short. I say we go right. <laughs> We're always right. But knowing the knowing God. <laughs> We should go left. Okay. Alright. I'll vote for left. Anyone else vote left, right or left? Um, I'm for either or. Towards the back middle. Oh. I'm doing the back middle of that, that direction. Oh. Not the group. Oh. You forgot to write how I get that back on tickets, but I just use it whenever. What is it? The Fulman's <coughs> glove? Oh. Did I not put it on there? No. Uh, yeah, I have to redo that one later. Oh, it's on the back. Um, I was like, do I get it? When do I get it back? I you get it back a day. You get it back at a, at a, at a oh. long rest. Oh, okay. yeah. So. so Asparagus has that bag of gems, correct, Asparagus? Yeah, the one you gave me, yeah. Yeah. You know what those are by chance? I open up the bag. Are they just fancy gems? Yeah, they look like fancy, expensive gems. Um, I There's take, about like two red ones. Uh, looks one that looks to be like a diamond and a, a I, green. And I take one. a red one. Okay. I investigate it. I guess. Uh, make just make an intelligence check. I'll come and show guys. That's a roll. Three. Yeah, shiny. Nice. Pretty cool rock. I want a Karna check. Karna sense magic. Okay, a Karna check doesn't help you sense magic. It okay. gives you the it gives you like insight on what might be magical. All right, you take magic. I still have. Do you can spend it? Let's do it. All right, cast and detect magic. Oh, yeah. All right, roll wild magic. Four. Okay, you're good. I was like, I swear, if you disappear, none of them, none of them look magical. Hey, right. just look. From the looks of the guys, they're just really pretty rocks. No fucking way. Well, you guys take magic on for ten minutes. Yeah. I look now. I look in the paths. Um, the paths. looking down the paths. When you look up. Sense that really heavy amount of transportation magic. You look down the hallways, there's no magic on the walls. So, guys, I don't sense any magic down any of these halls. So, whatever was happening up there is not happening down here. That doesn't mean it necessarily mean we're safe from trains. Yes. So, she's still be on guard for that. But at least we could be safe from magic golems for now. Hopefully. Hopefully. Or they'll stay down. So, again, we're going time. left. Let's do it. Alright, we're going down that path. Recording. Uh, okay. I cast, I cast, pass, cast pass without trace on everybody. Okay. So everyone gets a plus 10 to stealth. Uh, everyone stealth well, as, long, as long as we're around asparagus. As long as you're within 30 feet of asparagus. I don't know, of asparagus. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yep, alright, everyone that wants to stealth, roll stealth checks. 
Who's in the lead? I need to know the marching order. I'll be in the lead. All right, fair enough. <laughs> I'll be in the middle. So, question: yeah. With this transformation, will I get more intimidation with this hell? Uh, this uh, door? No. Um. Uh, maybe it might give you like advantage on certain aspects. It's basically a disguise. I'll let you, I'll let you decide. Yeah, it'll when be up to the when we get to a point. point. Description. Uh, Zacharias, where are you being? I'll try to stay right in the center. Okay. So he's with Randall. Or uh, middle, back, middle, back, middle. Go for or Jacqueline. Go front or back. Front. Wherever go for is it? I guess. I'm <laughs> back or front. I'll be. Okay. <clears throat> you just get plus ten, right? Plus ten to stealth. Plus your normal stealth. Yeah. All right. So everyone, roll stealth checks. What's your totals? I got twenty-four. Thirteen. Thirteen. Oof. Thirty-six. Ten. I got thirty-six. Did you, did you add plus ten to that? Yeah. Oh. 23. Okay, Jacqueline. 19. You got Zacharis. 28. Alright, yeah, you guys got one. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Unless, like, you guys come to a one. intersection here. To your right, there is what looks to be a door. To your left, or to straight ahead, there is also a door. That door is open, though. Alright, split up, guy. Wait, which, <laughs> which door is open? The one directly in front of you. Ooh, like, how open is it? It's open. All the way? Like, fully open. What, so do we see what's inside? It, looking down it, it's just dark on the sides, so there's there's no light that's going onto the sides, so there's no light in there, and it just hits a wall at the far end. I suggest you guys, we don't go in there. That could be a trap, trying to get us to go in there. No, so I go to the, I see if I go over the other door. You go up to this one? Yeah. See if I can <clears> open it. Yeah. It, you jiggle it, it clearly looks like you can open it. Okay guys, I, well we go this way, unless you guys disagree, you want to go to the other door? Try to get a better look in that room. We can, yeah, we can try to see if we can get a better look in this room. Do you want to do that cover? Don't get too close to the door, guys. I would suspect that somebody who has the gog night vision goggles. Will I'm, do I'm it. assuming I had it on, so yeah. You I get, mean, I also have more night vision than he does. Also anyway. true. Okay. Well, I, mean, we all, I, I suggest somebody that basically can see everyone it. except for Gopher can do it because yeah. everyone else has night vision <laughs> or has dark vision. Yeah. It's very distinct and different. Yeah. Right, so just don't get too close, but look in. Who's doing it? I, I pointed out of Felix, because I assume you do it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Don't get too close. Better. Looking in? Yep. It is empty. You're looking around, there's no figures inside. There's a few objects kind of picketed into walls, but you can't tell what they are from without being uh, might closer. Be, might What'd, be you see? What'd you see? Yeah, it looks oh. like it's possibly a prison. There was something, there was stuff on the walls I couldn't Did tell. Did it smell? I don't we're, think we have to go in there. We're checking it later. But it was completely empty, other than the stuff that was on the wall. Okay, let's just go in this room. I open it. Alright, opening this room. Move a lot of paper. This is a big room, huh? Mm. There he is! Whoa. Fuck him up! <laughs> Fuck him up! Jorn, it's the barrels of gunpowder. <laughs> oh. So, opening this door, Mushrooms. there are massive amounts of nearly empty tables. There are a few bits and pieces of what look to be black substances laying on top of it, a few beakers that are tipped over. Um, to your right is a single, ta a single table that has a very lit uh, green candle. Um, about six barrels pushed up against the wall over on this side. To your left is just another empty table with a deck. So the, that's, those chairs are tables then? These are chairs, these are tables. Okay. I'll, I'll mark them with lines. There you go. I was thinking like, maybe there's just a wall. <laughs> I thought it was a staircase. No, this Lord. is, this is, yeah, sorry, these are tables. Um, this has a chair as well, I forgot to put that in. Okay. Is there a green hag in here? <laughs> uh, there's nobody in here, but you do see a dark door. New. There is a statue in this corner. Who is it of? It is of a female figure, and it has some um, uh, ornate gold armor on with a long sword embedded into it. Ah. Do I see anything with this magic? Doesn't that see? Oh, I mean, yeah, do I Yeah, see... uh, you can see this entire room is coated in transmutation magic, and also a lot of necromancy. Guys, this room is dangerous. The tables have thick layers of necrotic energy, and this wall especially is coated in nec necrotic and illusion magic. I tell him that. <laughs> I tell him everything you just told me. Okay, there's also a dresser in this corner. Right then? 
Wait, well, yeah, what is over there? This is a dresser. That's a dresser? Yeah. What is that? What, it's it's closed. No, is that magic? Any sort There's of no magic on that. On that dresser? No. Is there magic on that door and across the room? Well, you can only see up to 60 feet yeah. anyways. Oh, okay, never mind that. <laughs> you guys, I tell us, do you guys want to still investigate this room? Feet. It seems kind of risky. It seems really risky. I mean, yeah. it's also very big. We I also feel back. like if they coated it in necrotic and transmutation, there's something, might be something important in here that they want to keep hidden. Yes. It could be a monster, or it could be a dead thing. Who knows what they've been experimenting on a table? The table looks like um, based off of like I mean, if beakers I there, I and a few other things. Door, right? hmm? I would see that door. Oh yeah, this door is also. This entire room is also brightly lit. There are torch sconces that are so we can bright. see. So we can everyone see. can see inside of here. You just can't see me. Oh yeah. Never mind. What's that? Never mind. Oh. Okay. But yeah, the, other than the dresser and a few beakers that have tipped over, that look to be like they were taken in haste. Mm-hmm. Doesn't seem like there's anything else. Do we maybe want to try it an insert attack on this room? Mm, splitting up the group between the different sides of the room. We should we all go investigate the other other pathway first. Okay. So I close the door. Close the door. And okay. uh, we'll head back the other way. Okay. Check the other we'll path. Just assume the same. Like you were yeah, yeah, it's the same. Yeah. That's fine. So it's nothing different. Going to this side. You can see that there is a path that leads off to this side. Let's go check that out, guys. There's also a path. Did we point the cover? This is the thing there. A path that leads down this way as well. Yeah, so there's a bit bigger path now. Yep, there's a longer passage that easily goes this way. And you can see that door, right? Hmm. Yeah, yeah we see this. Door. You see this yeah. door. This is the door that you guys are from, and you can also see light poking in from under it. So I'm assuming that's the door that. The room we saw earlier. You just saw. When you detect have... magic, you can also tell that there's magic on the door. On that door? Yeah. Okay. There was magic on your other door as well. Should we go left or right again, guys? I guess. If anything, no, 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 no. right would be the shorter path. This, so this also to... are steps going down. So it's basically like going uh, down deeper. Well, let's go uh, left first. Yeah, it was the left first then. <laughs> no. This way? No, uh, left. Yes. Okay. I see. Our, oh, yeah. Our yeah. left. Your ass is left. <laughs> <laughs> Looking down this, right I'm just gonna assume you guys are in that. I'm just gonna move right or something. Yeah, I'm gonna move yeah. fucking six things again. Looking down this, you can see what looks to be a ladder in the far distance with several torch down. going up. Um, and there also seems to be what looks like um, a very long sticked pole that's embedded into the ground. It's lifted up. You can't see because it, it goes about ten feet up, and it's like a hole. I assume I can see. It, it, it's a yeah. hole. Like it, it, the ladder keeps going up, and there's so there's more height to it because the ceiling right now is only about five, like seven feet tall. So oh. it goes up higher than your vision. Oh. Like not not visually, but like your perspective view is so, too high. I can assume that ladder just leads back upstairs somewhere. Probably hidden pathway. That would be the other door that comes down here. That what was that? What was this way, guys? What was under this way? I think it was the garage. Uh, we're roughly by the front of the house at this point. I'll say both area. The garage or the front door? I said the, the, we don't know there's a front door. Oh, he just said it. There, there was a garage, you said? A gar- garage or a garage. Was that, is that where you found the keyhole in? Yeah, so found, that's where we found the keyhole and the carts. So maybe we can assume that's where the gar- yeah. where this that keyhole led to this hole, maybe. That's a good assumption. Alright, I guess nothing else to investigate. Do we want to deal with the big room, or do we want to deal with the probably next level? Seeing as the stairs are going down. I am kind of curious about those barrels in that wardrobe. That night, though, we have to be careful from that. That wall was very suspicious that night was on. I want to know what's the next level. Floor. Floor, floor. Next level? Next level. Well, so that's vexing the next level. What do you vote for? I'm thinking like we should at least know what's like what this is though. Like we could assume what it is, but we like if we do need a way out, we could use that. I mean, if it is a way out, then it'll be our way out. So we, yeah. someone wants to go check it out then. I can go do it. Quick. So Karis is the one that has the key. Just a reminder. Okay. Oh. Okay. I just go run over quick and check out the ladder. I, I watch your back. I watch. Bottom. I'm behind him. Right. Make a perception check. And you're going over the ladder. Yeah. 
So, getting up closer. Nat 20. Okay, you're even visual. I have just... Magic anywhere? Magic? Magic? <laughs> magic When you're looking at uh, Jacqueline, you can see that her armor is definitely magical. It's filled with, like, this, um... Uh... Why are you staring very at my brain, kind <laughs> presence. Okay, when you get to the ladder, uh, looking up, you can see that the rod that's directly next to it seems to have, um... Something placed on top of it, like a jar, almost. Like a very thin jar. Um, the ladder itself is very crude. It's more so just remedial and kind of embedded into the wall. And there's a digit in the wall up above. Oh. Another keyhole, I'm guessing? I have to roll and tell if it's a keyhole. It looks like a keyhole. Okay. It looks like the back end of a keyhole. Yeah, uh, you stay there, I'll be right back. I, I go to Asparagus, can I see the key? I go back. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I, I just take his key, I give it to, Ryan, uh, to Felix. Yeah. Felix grabs, grabs the key. I don't grab the key. What do you do? I mentioned the pot on the pole. Okay. The what? There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's something sitting on top of that pole. Oh, looks. Oh, probably heavy. If anything. It's yeah. next to the ladder. It's not, like, blocking the ladder. No, but there's something there. It could be a trap. Have you tried messing with it? No. <laughs> Have you seen how well that's been going for us this entire adventure in this house? I mean, honestly, there's no other way out. We can't go up, up the other way unless we climb the rope that he kept down, but who knows that's going to be there. Who wants to be brave enough to go check that place? Go for it. Do it. I can't go for the key. <laughs> All right. Go I go for it. I'm going in you just in case something happens. I'll walk. You ready, bud? I get my... Uh, uh, I'm staying close, but <laughs> I get super my... close. I'm Okay. What are you doing? I'm staying close, but not super close. Okay, so like this far? I'm staying, uh, as long as I'm with Wind Ring Firebolt, I'm fine with where I'm. Okay, to keep IE sight, you're gonna have to stay here then. So you can at least aim up at the door. I get underneath Gopher at least. Well, not, like, I'm not climbing, but under the Directly under it. All right, and I Gopher. get my essence of life ready. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Gopher, as you're climbing up, you're looking, you can kind of peer through the side of the keyhole. Yeah. It's definitely what looks to be like the garage. You can see some crates that are on the other side. Um, you kind of have to be very careful because the pot is like directly in line with the keyhole, so you're kind of like looking mm. right there. Okay. Um, you're, it's either. gonna be very difficult to try to get your, your fingers to kind of push that key. <clears throat> I'm not even gonna try. I'll just go back down, tell them I can see that the garage is there. Can you go back to climbing down? Pot? Just make a uh, um, acrobatics check to try to not bump the rod. That's a D12. That's a fucking 12. <laughs> You said athletics? Acrobatics. Yeah. Oh, acrobatics. Yeah, yeah you're fine. Uh, going down, there's like a moment where it kind of like wobbles. You're good. So, should we use this as a way out then? Yeah, we, we can definitely use it. Yeah. We'd have to be careful. So, how close is the garage from the door? From what I remember from being in there? Am I next to you? No, I'm not. I mean, I, I know where it is, but I'm not. What do you, which, door you, which door do you mean? Like the, the front door? door? The front door. Oh, from how? the garage. Yeah. yeah. I would say about 20. 30. It's like right next to So if we, next in case if we have to run out of here, we could probably have we have to get out this door. Yeah. Yeah. So whoever has the key go for it. You're gonna have the key. You're gonna hang on to it. You're gonna be the first one to open it and get us out. Alright, All right, let's get going. So we're which down. way are you guys going? You're going down? Because it doesn't go deep, it just kinda right. goes into a decline. Have you guys decided on checking the room or going down to the next level? It's a stairs. I think we should check out this room before we move on. I yes. second that. Oh, I'm fine with either. So it's majority right now. Well, it's, so, it's two abstain, two for the room, and then two for de deeper. You guys are three and three. Let's just check the room. I'd say, here. Yeah. I'd say right. check the room. Should we, check the room. Do, we, should we do Felix's pincer? idea and do the pincer? We won't be, we won't be too far from each other. I don't see any reason to, but yeah. I mean, it would also help us cover the room faster. Whoa. Searching it. I mean, yeah. So what? What? Which is group? Which group or which? Is invisible team so, going over there again? No, no, fuck that shit. <laughs> no invisible first. I'm going with. I'm going with the uh, gopher at least. Gotta go keep his ass. I say gopher go should go, go in the door close yeah. in yep. this door. Yep. Because the statue wouldn't have. I have my. I have my magic. My uh, detect magic He's, up still. Yep. I guess I'll go to the other door down. Because we only saw the one statue. Mm -hmm. I'll just follow. Okay, Zacharis? I'll probably... 
I'll go with Jacqueline. Okay. And Bert. Yep. So, I will right. honestly go with them too. I mean, you could do four and two. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's oh, wait, I thought it was me and Gopher. Yeah, yeah, two yeah, and Gopher. Two. Yeah. Two oh, and yeah, yeah, I thought that was me for a second. No. I keep thinking that's me. <laughs> yeah. Because hopefully the statue two, doesn't so. have to go through the tables, so I'm going over here. Okay. And it assumes that I'll have more time to shoot it. Okay, fair enough. Okay. I open my door. Okay, opening your door. I, I look over at them. Gopher, opening your door. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we're together. Well, Gopher's with Yeah, we're, we're yeah. together. I'm going to see if they yeah. open their door. Are yeah, you guys opening your door? All right. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Gopher, what do you want to examine first? Um, I would say examine either the wardrobe or their clothes. Yeah, exactly. The only, thing, the only we can thing we can do is just check the statue or the right. fucking you tables. You guys are equal distance from the, the wardrobe. Yeah, no, yeah, we literally are, but... <laughs> well, I more want to just... I'll examine the statue because I have That is a board. table with a single like, panel I can't leave you alone, oh. so I'll go with you. No, it's a green flame. Okay. Okay. okay, so me and Ryder will go... We're going towards the statue. Towards the statue. Okay. Go for in the front, though, not behind them. And then... What magic's on the table? Necromancy still, right? Necromancy... There's, like, bits and pieces of necromatic energy where you're looking at, um... Where like, the splotches. Okay. So you're telling me not to touch the tables. I mean, I'm telling you not to drink off of it, if anything. Okay, alright. Okay. There's so what are you guys doing? Oh, I'm gonna come in and just do an investigation on this entire room. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to do it in di- different pieces. Yeah, big you can't do the whole room. So which one are you starting with? The closest... The closest thing? So the table that's, with the green candle? Or this table with a chair? <laughs> just divide it in. <laughs> I'm gonna section with the chair. Section 1, section 2, section 3, section 4. Section 1 is where I'm... Okay. okay. I love this. Like, want to examine the one with the candle or the one with the chair? <laughs> <laughs> well, the one with like, the they're you make both in section one. Jack. I'll make an investigation check on the candle. On the candle. You, you and your candles. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rex and Zacharis, what are you guys doing? I guess I'll investigate the barrels. Okay. Zacharis. I want to check those tables in the center. In the center, center. So over here. Yes. Yeah. Some okay. asparagus. Yeah, I think that's. And you guys are doing it, you got it into the statue? Yep. Okay. Uh, those make investigations, make investigation checks. You guys easily make it to the, the statue. Oh my god. Okay, make an investigation check. I'll do too. We'll I discover all face. the secrets in this corner. Uh, of, this, of this chair. I got a 23. 23, you say? Okay. It's a table with a chair. <laughs> I mean, it is a table. I'm also investigating this area. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking around, you're looking at the floor that's around it. You see that so, this chair has been moved a lot. It's consistently this, got scrape marks that put back in. Yeah, this section of the wall technically. Mm-hmm. Not too much. Um, looking at the wall is definitely an illusion, but you're putting your hand up to it, and it's like you're pushing it. It's like, like a real illusion. Kind of, well, no, it's not, because your hand's going through it, but it's like you're touching a substance on the wall. It's like um, molding wood, so it's Can kind of I brittle. Roll our I to figure out what it is. Sure. Make a, uh, make a nature check, actually. Yeah. This would be See nature, because what you're pushing up against is feeling brittle due to, like, a squishing sound. Even though I know it's magic? Because this is this is less of well, the magic effect, because you know this is an illusionary Yeah, wall. you already know it's an illusionary So you're, wall. you're feeling what's on the other side of the wall. I'm trying to determine what that is. Because that's not magic. It's, it's a substance. It's not magic. What would I have to roll to try to defeat an illusion? So the fiend illusion is just an investigation. Oh. You just know what it is. Like if you know if to be a, an illusion, you just have to know that it's there and have a good investigation check. Since you know it's an illusion, you can see the other side is like rotting wood. Okay. It's very brittle. When you put your hand up against it, it almost just pushes straight through it. And it's your door. There's the tree. Huge left. Thirteen. Thirteen? That's, uh, what is that though? Is that the, I rolled a nine. A nine. And you were doing what again? Nature. 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 Yeah. Pushing pushing up against it. This feels like it's been purposefully wounded kind of wood. Like shaved down, splashed with some kind of substance to make it brittle. So when you push your hand up against it, it's like nearly going straight through it. Okay. But that's what you get with your investigation. Candle. Investigation. Six. <laughs> Six? Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is a green candle. You yeah, kind of like compare seven. your candle to it. Yours looks nicer. <laughs> Piddly candle. Um, Yours is green. I, Green's a shit like, color. Try to move the candle. Yeah, you can move the candle. It just slides around. Pick it up. Slides around. Just a candle. Can I try to flip the table? <laughs> with the flip, candle? You can try to flip the table. Make a, right. make a <laughs> Do it with the candle. I don't take the candle. 
Didn't even learn anything from our one shot. <laughs> I wasn't there. <laughs> I was fucking talking to him. Solve uh, puzzles by accident. Uh, <laughs> fucking fucking Uncle Meta when he's just doing random shit. Bullshit luck. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> you said what? Athletics check. Athletics? Alright, uh, 17. Oh wow. <sighs> and you just lift it up. Rex, it kind of scares you for a second. When you look under the table, there is a runic symbol that you have seen before. Oh. Of a symbol that looks completely depleted of magic. And. Uh, is it the symbol, teleportation thing? It looks like the teleportation sigils that you've seen before. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. This one looks so, depleted of magic, though. Send me. So I'm going to point out no, when I see this because after I investigate here, I would. No, because this is all happening right at the same time. So that they're investigating how it separate times. Rex, what are you. So double his. So I got 12. 12? Um, looking at these barrels, kind of like pull on them. There's bits and pieces of it where some of them. <laughs> Seem to be have coagulated blood in them. You kind of like look in, and when you lift it up, you can smell that pungent iron from the blood. Close that. And you seal that. You close it. You go to the other one. You open it up. You can, it smells like um, nothing. Kind of like rotting wood. And you can tell there's water in this one. And you go from bit to bit, and the majority of it seems to be water. Um, there's the one barrel of blood, and then one barrel that seems to be empty. The furthest end, from right to left. So, oh, okay, the closest one to me is blood, and the farthest one's empty, and yes. the rest is water. I mean, we're lucky. You don't know that yet. Um, Zakaris, investigation on the tables. Natural 20. Natural 20. Huh. You can tell that these tables were used for some kind of alchemy. They alchemy. have beakers that are tipped to the sides that have a little bit of the black substance coming out of it. The black substance that's on the table, you've seen these before as substance of the black flasks. It's very it. comparable. Oh my god. Um, these tables were definitely used as massive brewing stations. Great. That's what you gather from that. So, that you next. Um, also, with your natural 20, you can see that there are about two runic symbols that are still kind of like emanating energy. Do I know what these are? You've seen them as teleportation sigils. Especially like being part of... They're the same ones as the ones that were in the um, the treehouse that the green hag was at. Where is it? It's in the table. So oh, there's one God. that's on this end and one on this end. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> one killer. I said... I, 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 yeah, when you heard about it... Yeah, you also missed the point where they found teleportation sigils that were yeah. in the alleyway that I also said. Yeah, I heard about that too, okay. but I didn't think it was the same one. Oh yeah, no, I said that it was it was the ones that he had seen so from that's the what Green you guys, That's what you guys said, Green Hang, huh? Oh yeah. But that's what you see with your investigation. That's getting the statue. Yeah, 11. Three. This is a statue. Whoa. Now within 11, you go up to it. You're very cautious because these things, it, yeah, looks, it, me. it looks the same, except that it's like the statue itself is different. It's like a female figure with uh, kind of etched in eyes. It looks like this statue has been given more work. Um, going up to it, it doesn't move. You can see that there's energy coalescing over it, but what it, kind of energy? Just it's uh, transmutation energy that's going over it, but there's nothing, it's not moving. Let's take it out. We can't move it. Yeah, I you check, try pulling on it and it doesn't move. I check behind it. Trying to check behind it? Yeah. Uh, I the wall behind it. It's it that illusionary wall, yeah. Just a wall still? Yeah, it's that illusionary wall that you can see with your um, detect magic. How about the sword? Can I do anything with that? No, stone? the sword's embedded in the stone. Mm. Do I try to ruin the helmet? That thing? No. It's all attached. Think, and it's gold, you said, right? Yep. Gold, gold plated. It looks the same like type of armor as the, uh, the animated suits. But it was transmutated. Well, it's those like, also would have had transmutation magic. Yeah, so it might not actually be there. Well, the way I'm standing, I look at the statue. Do I look, recognize the face? No, it, there's not enough facial structure to actually like recognize the face. It's just that there's more detail to it. Well, oops, can't make a that's, yeah, the so boss, the nothing figure. here. About the whole figure? What are you trying to glean from it? Do I recognize it yeah, somewhere? You just said you don't recognize it. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I lost nothing. What did you guys find? The statue. Nothing, I just, it's just different. That's all I can say. It's not the same. It's like, 
they gave it more work, so it's not really meant for what the ones upstairs been doing for us, I guess you can say. Yep. What did anyone else find? Before, uh, can I make an investigation on that door? Yeah, you can go. Yeah. I mean, so you open it up, and you can see that Their it goes system. inside a little bit, and there is a small childlike figure that's like on its side, um, and it looks very pale. Completely on the side, on the bottom of the dresser. On the bottom of the dresser? Oh well, yeah. It's like those war. It's like those wardrobe closet with that whole like coats and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's just laid down on the that, ground. That would be called a wardrobe. Okay. Why I think I said wardrobe, wardrobe and then changed it to Why dress. a wardrobe? Yeah, yeah, you did say wardrobe. It, it is a wardrobe, and there is a child laying Can I make a medicine check and see if the kids are... Uh... You can make a medicine check. It's intelligence-based. Or wisdom-based, sorry. It's wisdom. Yeah, wisdom-based. Yeah. Also probably isn't. 17. 17. You go down, you initially go up to it, kind of brush up against the side. His skin is very cold. And you turn him over to his side, and his face looks normal. You can tell that he's breathing. There's some regulatory air. And then his eyes open, and you can see they are solid black. And in that briefest moment where you're like, what? Oh. Its mouth oh, cracks, like the sides of his mouth crack slowly and just rip open, and there's jutted teeth. And it just goes, you step back? And it's loud. Shut it, shut it. And in that moment, you guys can all hear it. Just kind of, it's like a high pitched whining sound uh-huh. that resonates throughout the room. Ryder, Gopher, and Randall, or Rip. Oh, fucking damn it. Felix, keep doing that. You guys hear the sound, and the walls begin to crack, and they start brush back breaking up. through. Back up. Well, we're going to be rolling initiative, because yeah. this would have happened immediately. The wall starts to break as four figures burst out from it. No, I do this shit again. In each one? Or? No, I'm, I'm getting the figures for them. And you've seen these figures before. Oh, God. At least these looking ones. Oh, uh, no. They're cobalt! Pale... <laughs> They're cobalt. <laughs> They're pale-skinned. They look like the tendril arm crap. There are, oh. They are varying amounts of different. Oh, the guards are back! They are back. <laughs> oh, no, no, our guards have betrayed us. Everyone roll initiative. Oh, shit. Nice. Best roll of the night. I love it. Oh, oh no, no, I had that. that didn't have magic on it fucked us. <laughs> the one thing that didn't look suspicious. I also need to put down the small figure. I love how, man, I, I love how Felix is like, I'm going to stay far away from that knight so I can do it <laughs> in front of the enemy. I mean, it's still a fair enough way. So, what you see is bursting through this, the brittle wall is just these disturbing figures of varying sizes. One is uh, about four foot tall, another is seven. Some of them um, have strong physiques and, and weak physiques. And two of them have this disgusting mutated arm tendril that... Um, Four of you have seen, and the only ones I haven't is Gopher and Felix. And uh, one of them has a disturbingly long snout-like mouth with several jutted teeth and thick claws. Where do you see this one? You have not seen this one, but you've seen the one that has the long tendril arm that goes down and drags across that, the ground. Was that, that was so, in the tribal camp. Yeah, that's what I Yeah, in the cave. I it's going to be a check to see if I recognize our Oh, yeah. Uh, make a, you can make a nature or arcana check. That is up to you. Nature, arcana, or history. Whichever you want. Can I do that right now? Yeah, do it right now. That's fine. Know. Immediate intelligence is like, <gasps> but there are varying amounts. Two of them have the long tendrils, and two of them have the longer snouts. I tell Gopher, don't let that tendril hit you. They're pale, and you can see that they have restrained arms. So I can use arms. arcana to try to identify if one by of them's arm. Yeah. I mean, I get fucked up by everything. But oh, <laughs> if you're trying to determine if you recognize the people, that's different. Um, no, you can't recognize the people. They have also, other than the pale skin, there seems to be bits and pieces of draconic scales that are covering portions of their recognizable faces. This looks like eyes yellow. This looks like black class business again. The arcana world. I thought you were trying to determine what kind of creature this is, not like who this creature is. What? It's a black flash. Oh, we never told you. No, never there. Never there. No, we never told you. Here's the thing. So, looking at them, they are not creatures that you know of all at all. 
your closest Didn't rendition of it would be undead zombies based yeah. off of their appearance. Yeah. But they are mutated, disturbing, and they're making sounds that you've not heard before. It's I, like a guttural. I'll movie. tell you as a player, it's a ghoul, right? Isn't it no. Oh, no this is my own brute enemy that I've made yeah. for this campaign. Yeah. Don't, don't you have no idea what they're even called because nobody knows what they're called. We'll call these, uh. What do you mean by now, guys? Friends. Oh, they're friends. <laughs> no. Yeah, they're Anyways, all initiative. Guards. They're frombies. Securus. Good, good roll. Fuck. Rex. One. 18. Good job. You got one better than Felix. That. 15. Good hey. job. Uh, Ryder. 18. So we're going the same time. That was. Six, 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 uh, Jack. Uh, 10 less okay. than Ryder and Rex. So 8. <laughs> and go for it. 5. 5. <sighs> I'm gonna roll it into three groups. Two, two. The two that have the long tendrils are these ones. The one with the long snouts are these ones. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab a different figure eight for the other one. So the yellow ones are the ones with the the arms, and the white ones are the ones with the snouts. Mama, Papa. I've come for you. Um. Yep, I'm a, I rolled from first. It's a baby, right? <laughs> it's a child. Very small. <laughs> what's a worse, child. Yeah, was, what's worse than a, a molester? What was it? A, what's what's worse than child. a child molester? And a, no, oh, no, a, a molester. molester. A child. <laughs> I think Calvin, I think Rex has to be on the watch list, you know? Touching that child in the back. Making the screen. It's <laughs> true. That, that's true, too. As proceeds him. Okay. Top of the initiative order. The one that's in your arms, immediately after the, the shrill sound goes, it lunges at you with its mouth. It's going to make an attack at you. Um, does a 18 hit? Yes. Okay. Make a constitution saving throw. And because you take five points of uh, piercing damage on the bite. Four. Once the bite gets you, there's this seething pain. It's almost like it's on fire and burning, and all of your muscles become strained. Right now, you are under the um. What was it that I called it again? It was the picture of these steps. Damn it, Tom. Um. The sear. I'm, I'm just gonna call it something random for now because I can't remember what I called it. Searing pain. You're under a searing pain effect. Wait. It's, it's, it's a poison. This five. You took five. Is this, isn't this the same? It's the same thing that those, uh... We fought back assassins. at the tribal camp, right? Well, yeah, but, what? This is not the same poison as, like, the assassin. Oh, because I think you pretty much called them the assassin. Seared? No, that that was from or the was, like, Periton. The Periton gave oh, yeah. that to Goat. Mm -hmm. But this is different. I mean, it's not different, but it's... Whatever. So do I have to make a uh, constitution? Well, that was, that was for the child's turn. Now it's Rex, your turn. Basically, right now, everything you do is at disadvantage, and you have half your movement. I can't get real those. At the end of your turn, you try to make another con save to break through it. Stab the child. <laughs> you can. You'll be at disadvantage. Be like, over. what are you doing? <laughs> Pick it up from one arm. And it's like, don't you bite me. Stab. <laughs> silly friend. Stab, 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 stab. Silly, silly you. Who's hungry? <laughs> oh, God. He comes here. If I use Fighting Spirit, will it cancel the disadvantage of Divine what? Fighting Spirit? Fighting Spirit. It would, it would make you neutral, but neutral. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it would make your attacks neutral. Uh, I'm going to use up my bonus action to do that then. Okay. Just spirit and strike, and I have five temporary hit points. Five temporary hit points? Okay. So you gain that five back, technically? Well, five temp. Five can go ten. away That's like right. ten and few later. But, so you can make two attacks now. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, two attacks. Fifteen. Fifteen hits. Second attack. You know the name. Okay, that's, that's 19. 19 hits. So, 2d6 plus 12. Just a kid. Four. 
18. Oh, you said uh, 12? Yeah, it's plus 12, so 16. 16 points. And it, you can see, like, it like, lunges backwards, just... And it still lives. It's very quick. The moment that you kind of slash, its arms and muscles just, like, jitter and pulse. It's, it's like, in a seizure type of maneuver. And it's just rapid. It's very frantic and very fast. My uh, constitution oh, save. Yep, con save. Hey, that's me. 13. 13. That is enough. So you feel the energy, you oh. just kind of like tense, and for your next turn, you do not, you're not affected by it. Oh, for my next turn. So, so I, have do, I have to keep doing it. You have to keep doing it. This is different than it was before. Okay. For the next mint. All right. Ryder. Uh,. You are real close to these things. Yeah, I know. Um, I go for it. You ready, boy? You yeah, were ready. Alright. I'll go for the one. What's the white ones? Long tendril? The, the white ones, ones are the snoots. The snoots? The snouts. Alright. I'll take Ooh, out the rapier. Oh, here's a good question. Mm-hmm. None of them have any like visible armor, correct? None. No. They're just naked, pretty much. <clears throat> they're, they're wearing like ramshackle clothes, and there's like tatters and bits okay. and pieces of like dra- draconic scales. They're, the, they're basically the town school who got capped. Kidnap probably. Oh, so I take the rapier and I charge at the one with the nose. Oh, the nose. Go yeah. All right, go ahead and roll the attack. Twenty-three. Twenty-three is gonna hit. Let's go ahead and roll your damage. Damage. D D eight plus the D six. Six. No D four. D four. Oh, yeah. Oh, How keep using your yeah, bards don't get that. Uh, oh, 10 plus so 2. Like, yep. I mean, so 12. 12 points. I think uh, certain bards do. So, so is 1. I can't think of the right one. Uh, uh, bards. Uh, the college is only. The college is only. Yeah. So yeah, I'll just do 12. That's it. 12 points of damage as you stab into it. It's like pulsating of thunderous energy is like emanates into it. And it's still alive. Yeah. Alright, that's it. Alright. Is the snout turns. This one is going to turn and this disgusting, like ooze-like black ichor shoots out from its mouth. I need Gopher and Ryder to make constitution saving throws. Ah, five. Twenty-one. Okay. Gopher, you kind of like guard yourself, so you're gonna take half damage from this. Right and uh, not affected. Ryder, you feel this like hit your skin, and it's searing pain. It's bubbling over, and you can feel it, like tensing up. Not again! Your <laughs> so for the next minute, you are affected by the searing pain. Okay. Poison. It's and happening again. You, t- you take. Why not just call it searing poison? Poison. Um, Ryder, you take twelve points of. Yeah. Uh, Acid damage. Go for you, take six. That's the flesh. Uh, the other one is going to rush over at Felix. Five, 15, 20. And it's going to try to bite at you with his maw and swing one to his maw. <clears throat> First attack with the bite. That is a nine to hit. Second attack with the claw. That is a 10 to hit. <laughs> so it just like bites down, you just duck, and it, <laughs> the claw slashes up as you ducked, and you just kind of like step back. And <laughs> this thing with unnatural speed seems to have caught up with you. Unlike these. Oh no, okay, Felix, you're up. So if I can cast two spells, I can cast one, one spell, spell slot, slot and, and one, one cantrip. Can Perfect. Nice. Uh. Missy Step, I teleport away 30 spaces. Okay. Where are you going? You also, also have to roll wild magic. He has to see it. Oh, oh yeah, Missy Step. That's not right. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of spells being cast and no wild magic. Either. So. It can all happen during the next fight. <laughs> if there is so. one. No, I'm going to move slowly. 15. Okay. And I'm gonna firebolt it. Firebolt that one? You know one that tried to eat me. Okay, go ahead and roll the attack. 
13. 13? 13 hits. So 2d10 fire damage. Eight points of fire damage as you fire this forward, it collides with some of the scales. And just this energy kind of burns, and you can see the dragon scales actually catch fire and just kind of fall. It still stands. That's uh, your everything, basically. Just want to move have? anywhere else. Yeah, probably. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Unlike the the creatures with the with the snouts, the tendrils that you have yet you are know of, that you know of are very like sporadic and their arms and muscles are kind of just flexing consistently and ra- randomly. It's going to dash to get up to you, Jacqueline. Mm-hmm. This one, five, ten, is going to swing its um, tendrils that stab forwards at you go for twice. First one to hit, that will be a 12. Second one to hit, that is an 11. Adam, <laughs> This heavy and thick feeling thick. tendril lashes out towards you, and you feel like if it hit you, it would be very strong, but it luckily just kind of brushes up against your skin. Touches your face. Oh, God, right. Yes. This fight's going to take forever. Jacqueline, you're up. Oh, I thought the other one was done. Or did no, it? It, 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 it had entire dash. movement. All the movement. All right. I, I, I see this, I go, oh. Swing at it. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll to attack. This is it. No. <laughs> Okay. That's ten. Ten? Ten reports the misses. As you swing down, one of the tendrils just like lashes upwards and it completely blocks the blade. It doesn't even scratch. It sounds like a sword just climbing with another sword. Um, yeah, bonus action is the movement. Nah. Okay. Go for it. I'm gonna attack the one that tried to attack me. Okay, well, you're gonna be at, uh, you're fine, because Ryder's the one that. Yeah, I'm the one who is. You're gonna attack the one that attacked you. Alright, go ahead and roll to attack. I'll do reckless. Reckless, alright, now you're at advantage. Are you raging? No. No? Okay. I'm gonna say I hate Spurs. Oh, Nat 20. 20. Nat 20. Roll 4d6. Oh my goodness. Yeah, fuck it. Give me what it is. D- oh, d6. You want someone. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, double five. Ten. And then six and then five? Eleven plus plus ten. Twenty-one. That's twenty-one in total, which twenty-three. You bring it down and it guts like straight into like the side and crushes it. Or you can hear the sound just and it lunges forward it's dead. Yes! Atta boy! One hit, one One hit, baby. (laughs) You yank it out and this pouring of black ooze like substance just emanates from the ground. I'll tell you about that stuff later. I, I, I back up from that. I, I, I go to the here. Okay. <laughs> That's gross. That's gross. Go behind it. Okay. Yeah, go behind it. Um, I, I will go behind it. You're gonna go behind it. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Zakaris. Alright. I run up to the one that's attacking Jacqueline. Okay. There I you got go. you, baby. Are you going behind them? Primal Fury. Now, will you allow me to cast Shalala on this can of corn? Shalala. <laughs> 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 he's he's going to go up to his pay head. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll allow it, he says. My god. Purely because of the comical factor of this. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. And because at this point, this corn's probably ripe enough to act like a uh, I got a plank of wood. <laughs> <laughs> but it's open. Don't question it. Just, just let it happen. Just let it happen. All right. Go ahead and roll to attack with your wisdom modifier. And a d8 damage. That is 15 to hit. 15 hits. You did advantage already, right, Asparagus? Uh, no. Let me roll again. That is 18 to hit. That will hit. <laughs> there we go. Next point. Oh that will hit. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so it's a D8 plus your Wisdom mod. 11 points of damage. All right, as you just... <laughs> basically, this 
energy begins to coalesce around the corn. The it corn. slowly forms from the can into what looks to be a club. Wham! As you hit down, the corn shatters and oh, explodes God. outwards. God, that's a D four of corn now. <laughs> that take corn damage. Corn. <laughs> <laughs> they caught in their chronic corn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> couldn't, make one couldn't make it up on corn. Um, it's okay. definitely wounded. There's just a sound. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> um, it's still alive. I- excuse me. Did you just whack that thing <laughs> over the head with a can of corn? <laughs> Yes, then I take a handful of corn from the can and I eat it. <laughs> it's gross. It's like eating probably corn's been resting out in room temperature for probably about, I don't know, a day. Because it's also still in the slime of the canned food. And it's been open for like. It's three been hours. open for a, a number of hours. It's grimy and gross. <laughs> I'm surprised you did it! I love this. Uh, okay, he's gonna get sick when he comes. Cut your now. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. just corn, you're fine. Um, right. That's your turn? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, then this is. Stop the of order. Child's turn. It's moving so quick, it's just. And it dives from its point. You just see it put a hand out and leap from the dresser at such a speed that you aren't able to take an opportunity attack. Mm-hmm. And it launches without touching the ground straight at Felix with his <laughs> mouth open, moving more than. 15 feet towards the target, it has um, a pounce with its bite. That is a 22 to hit. (laughs) (laughs) So the bite is a d6 plus a d10. Make a constitution saving throw. Oh, Oh. (laughs) And 20. That's good. That would have really sucked for your spells. Um, (laughs) Alright. Yeah, so what happens is it just like, almost like a viper just leaping out at you. Jesus. And you take, in total, four points of piercing damage and four points of additional piercing damage from the pounds. So am I going to start to make con checks every turn? No, because you saved. The only person that has to do that. So eight speed. damage, correct? And, yeah. and rider. Eight oh, damage. and rider. Four and four. Four and four. Woo. All right, so that's the child's turn. It's latched to you. Like, it's got its mouth just wrapped along your shoulder. Basically, he is he's occupying the same space as you at this moment. We gotta cut his arm off. Hi, Rex, <laughs> you're up. And you don't have to make constitution saving throws, because you... Oh, at the end, you do. So for, at the end. Yeah, for a minute. So here's the fun part. I can miss you still. still. Jal doesn't come with me. It only teleports me. Well, what are you doing? What are you doing, uh, Rex? If I... Uh, as, two of your four seconds. As a character, if I attack... Felix, while well, the child's on him. Uh, if you miss, you have a threat. In, you have a threat to attack um, Felix instead. Five. Damn it. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. I see that's a hard miss too. The same. Yeah, it's really brief. <laughs> it's, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, right, it would only teleport you. I thought it was gonna say something like everything you're carrying, but it's just like no. you teleport. You teleport. Damn it. Because <laughs> if it was like <laughs> you're wearing, it's technically wearing. Technically there. Yeah, Anyways, a lot I'm of attack. the teleport. Attack I'm, I'm, t- I'm gonna go off towards on an attack. All right, you're not gonna have advantage because he's not flanked. I thought I have advantage for my flank spirit. That only lasts the one turn. Oh, that lasts the one turn. Yeah, it gives you advantage on all of your attacks for that turn. Do it again. I could, but I'm not. I'm just gonna attack it three times. All right, go ahead and roll to attack. <laughs> I just roll, roll my arm. Thirteen. Thirteen. That will miss. Roll it. Roll it again, though. Twenty-four. That hits. Yeah. All right. Off, 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 off. Your first hit hits Felix. Okay, cool. <laughs> Second attack. Would that be your advantage? Same thing again. Second attack? No, because it's not. See, I'm repeating the same thing. Yeah, yeah, they got the same. Four and yeah. four, another hit. Yeah. yeah. So two hits. Hit Felix. Third swing. Oh, uh, he got a four again. What the? <laughs> What's that total? So he, he just hit me. Just uh, he literally all, he did not so attack the child. He will also hit Felix. So he le- you do two d six and a d four plus seventeen. 
to Felix. Felix, I'll watch you do the damage. I literally held out my arm and he just stabbed me. <laughs> the, the thing is that the thing is flailing, so your arm isn't steady. You, so it's getting yanked, pulled around. So it's hard to hit. I'll roll the damage. Oh, so I'm trying to help you, so... Yeah, you're, you tried your best. This thing is fast. It's got a very AC. It's actually higher than it is. Uh, four with a... So, uh, so, so, so I have to hit high then. Well, you rolled pretty shit, to be fair. A three and a one, but then the four on that, so that's eight plus 17. You take 25 points of slash. I'm dead. That you're down. You're not dead. You are definitely down, so you go to swing, and this, this creature just yanks his arm in such a way that you just start accidentally cutting into Felix. And in that moment, Felix just falls unconscious. <coughs> Alright. I'm trying to help. Yep, nope, that happens. Ryder. Alright. You can see Felix has fallen. Woo! With, uh, with work. <laughs> land in the backpack. But, Rex um, just throws me <laughs> Rex has been trying to cut at this small creature. What are you doing? <laughs> but, what are you doing? I'm, I'm still going to attack this thing. Okay. I think work. Work. That was his phone. Alright, the guy's uh, on the case, too. Uh, rolled no. attack, it wouldn't be at advantage, but it's not at no. disadvantage. Yeah, because yeah. of flank. Uh, 15? 15 hits. Go ahead and roll D8 plus D4. Uh, plus two. Uh, six. Six points of damage. You stab into it, just... This little ripple pulses through it, and it was injured before. Still still functioning, and it's, it's at near death for sure, but you definitely have wounded it, not necessarily at the amount that you need. Okay. Near second. This entire now combat we it killed... Is one zombie and me. <laughs> and me. <laughs> um, Alright, it is the snout's turn. So I need to roll a six. Okay. So that one's just going to turn and bite at uh, the one that stabbed him, so Ryder. First attack with its bite. That is a 14 to hit. Nope. Second attack with its claw. That is a 17 hit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, Rex make a constitution saving throw as well. <coughs> Far uh, this is turn... Recording. Uh, we're an hour and ten minutes. Okay. 18. 18? All right, the next turn you're again good. Yeah. You suffer... Six points of piercing damage, and you don't need to make a, uh, You don't need to make a con save, because yeah. you're already fucked up. Yeah. Well, do I have to make one for... Yeah, make one at the end of your turn. For your, uh... If I see if I can survive the turn, nope. (laughs) Okay, yeah, you're still... That pain is emanating through your arm. Uh Burning you. The other one is not doing too hot from the can. Is gonna risk the attack of opportunity from Zakaris. Oh, okay. Go over here. What are you going to smack him with, though? What is he going to smack him with? Yeah, do you, do you have an open quarter staff? Yeah. Alright, go ahead and roll to attack. That's a, that's a seven. Seven will miss, unfortunately, as you 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 brought the can down onto his head. Just, yeah! It kind of bounced up, and you go to swing again, but your the can hits your quarter staff and, like, Oh, back. I was, was going to say, after he ate it, he's reeling from the... Also viable. <laughs> it's real nasty. Well, I was about to say, doesn't he have an advantage? Cause no. It it really... Flat, you don't really get advantage on opportunity attacks, necessarily. Okay. Yes, yeah. Um, okay, it's going to let out this vicious just... Wait. I'm an it's idiot. A that, that's a tendril guy. I'm an idiot. Ignore that. You missed anyway, so it's fine. It's gonna go over here, and then he's gonna do. The, he's gonna do the the cone. I need Zacharis and uh, Jacqueline to make um, Constitution saving throws. Sixteen. Sixteen saves. So you take half. <laughs> All right. That was twelve. Twelve. That is not enough. Just barely. <coughs> So you suffer a searing pain as oh, well. Oh, use your uh, inspiration dice. That is true. You do have the D four. He's using it. You're good with whatever number it was rolling. 
Because so, really. you only get one more to make it to a 13. I did get one more. <laughs> well, you needed a 13, so you're good. Okay. <laughs> That's the DC. So you Dang. take... Yep, I get my good D4 back. You two take half. Uh, you take four points of acid damage as this noxious, fuming acid kind of spills on you, but you're, it's enough for that you brush it off quickly and it doesn't go into your skin. Um, that's what it does. Felix! Yeah, save and throw. That's one success. Oh, one success. Tendril's turn. This one's going to turn at Zakaris, who fucking hit him upside the head with a can. <laughs> and it's going to swing twice with his tendril at you with advantage. It also can see, tell, the acid did not seem to affect the creature as well as it hit him. It did not seem to hit him at all. The first one is a 23 to hit. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, the second attack. That one's only an eight. Oh, nice. Okay, one and two. So make a constitution saving throw for this uh, damage. Damage. Natural 20. All right, you're not into the searing pain, but you suffer um, nine points of piercing damage and three points of acid damage. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's that one's turn. Uh, the other one's dead. So, Jacqueline. <coughs> Swing it. We're gone. <laughs> advantage, so. Wham. Okay. Na- uh, no, natural 20. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20 will hit, so a, a d12 and a d4. 2 4. 1d4. Because yes, I'm not doing a thing. Right. Jeez. You're back to no. Damn. You can fall. Okay, that is a 6. Seven. Seven plus two? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so nine points of damage, you just cut into it. And as you do, it gets like this um, pain down, like you bring it down, it gets like deep into it, and this like pulse of radiant energy kind of like emanates around its arm and it just falls on the ground. Or maybe knives. Just like. It's pretending. It's, 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 it's coming back. Go for it. You're up. I'm gonna hit this guy. Hit him. Okay, go ahead and roll to attack. With advantage. With advantage. The way you said that, oh, you so like... Oh, an advantage. <coughs> Bless you. 18 will hit, so 2d6 <coughs> plus 2. What? The way you said that, you like such a chat. I'm gonna hit this guy. Yeah. Six. Six. <laughs> a two and a one? Yeah. Or a three and a one? A three. Oh. All right. You bring it down. <sighs> Wop straight into its maw and its mouth just peels back. You yank it out and it falls face forward. So, all right. Satsuma? <laughs> Satsuma. You can see Randall dying slowly on the ground. Well, a child is chewing on him. Well, yeah, a child is gnawing on him. <laughs> that's, that's nice. That's exactly what I wanted to say. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, I have to make two concentration checks for Shalala. <laughs> you have it still on the can? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Why <laughs> Wait, you can't use metal weapons. <gasps> oh. oh. <laughs> I, I don't care. It's fucking corn. You're fine. It's funny for now. It'll be good for this combat. You turn and Fine. yeah, make constitution text to see if the corn like dematerializes and falls onto the floor though. Because <laughs> of sixteen and twenty. Alright, you're good, you're still containing the corn. <laughs> <laughs> that corn is very well preserved. Alright, roll. I will point over at uh, uh Felix. <laughs> and I will spend one dice to get him on his Alright, you get a uh, D6 of healing and a temporary hit point and not dying. You get three HP and one temp. <laughs> Sitting at four. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yes. Just, Hopefully, oh, you don't oh. take thirty-six points of damage. <laughs> oh god. Oh dear. <laughs> Red. And then I will hit this dude with the can of corn. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and roll to attack. 
natural fucking 20. All right, so it's 2d8 plus your wisdom. I think it's plus four. We've just got a critical with the fucking catapult. <laughs> <laughs> That's how magical it is. That is 14 points of corn damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you turn. <laughs> Just hit him upside the head. This is the one that you shot at, right? Felix and the pit? Yeah. Alright. As you smack it, its head just <laughs> and it falls back. It. Dead. That's what you fucking get. Killed by corn. How corny. <laughs> Alright, that's your turn. Child's turn. Child. Let's go of uh Felix. Was and lunges. I sensed it. Hmm? it was called Rando, I sensed it. That I did almost, but I, I caught myself. <laughs> Yes. And, he, and he didn't say dude. <laughs> um, being waist high, this child's going to bite you. At you. Oh. I'm right in the nose. 18 to hit? Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't want that. You don't want that. That's good. Yeah, I, saw, yeah. I saw my temporary. Yep, that's, this is true, actually. So depending on how much damage this is, you might not have actually been hurt. You take. One. Four points. Oh, yeah, one Look at that. I saw one, <laughs> one Templar. This energy from your fighting spirit prevented him from going too far <laughs> into your groin. And you are totally happy, but at the same time, panicked. <laughs> and you can see the, the jittering of it just. <laughs> and it just lunges, just <laughs> leaping over to. Oh, right. Man, that's a far lunge. It moves easily within 60 feet. Oh, my God. Oh. Rex, you're up. You just saw it leap off of Felix. Just so no opportunity of attack? No, no opportunity attacks when it's moving. It's too fire. <clears throat> uh, what took you guys to care of that? I, I don't want to go over the The only thing left is the child. The child. The child. Crossbow his ass. I don't have a crossbow. Sling at his mm-hmm. ass. Take, take, then take the thing. Throw a piece of rock. I mean, the there. body's there for a reason. No. Yes. It makes me think that they're going to come back for life. <laughs> makes me scared. I'll just, I'll just make my way. Okay, yeah. Dash to You going over tables or going around? I'm going around. I don't want to risk okay. anything. 30. Dashing? Uh, if I'm me. Yeah, probably. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to hold my action to uh, do the dodge. To dodge action. Okay. So you just dodge, so you get to the creature to disadvantage on the attacks against you. Yep. All right. Hold on. Yep, cut you stick, bro. Uh, six. That one, you are definitely, that, that pulse of pain begins to, like, around, like move around your organs. You can feel, like, kind of hurting your breath. Mm-hmm. Ryder. Uh, so it's behind me, right? Oh, yeah, it's right behind you. All right, I'm gonna just stab it. All right, you have disadvantage. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, fuck it. Yo, go. Uh-huh. Oh, that's the disadvantage. Yeah, uh, eight. No. You go to stab, and it just, like, it goes right into its face, and, like, there's a second where it just tilts its head, and it just goes completely with whipping by. Oh, that's Hey, okay, you're good for the next turn. Yeah. Uh, this, thing, it, this thing has the next turn. Yeah. All right, snoots are dead. Felix, you are on the ground. Read the pain. <laughs> the healing light. <coughs> healing light. Can I target... I forget what those ones. You can target yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you heal one creature with it that you can see. You can see yourself. Invisibility sounds like the same thing. Fair point. Okay, that's touch though. So. I'm gonna uh, just keep him over the pain. Putting his feet, or taking off his shoes. Use three of them. Three d six of healing. Can you use all of them, or can you only use half? I can use as many as I want. Okay. Just make it I get them back at a one. Okay. Yeah. So I we'll... have to spend if I use it a minimum of one. Okay. I Which makes I sense. Mean, yeah, I'm using Yeah. How else would you not use it? My that sucks. sucks. <laughs> two, two, three. That's seven. Can I add the last one in? You can choose to, sure. I want to spend all of your healing. What is this one? <laughs> yeah, that, that's something. This is five's good. Yeah. That puts your seven into a twelve. I think that was very average. <laughs> yeah. Twenty-four, twelve. Uh, it's a, it's below average though, because the the average is four to twenty-four. 
the average order at that point then, I think 14. Yeah. So it's 12. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, regardless. Yeah, okay, have to gasp. 15. <laughs> hey, 15 and one temp. I <laughs> I don't know what I want. Uh, you still have an action. That's your bonus action. You're on the ground, just like, oh, <laughs> feel me. <laughs> Can I use the high action to prepare still dead? If you think yeah. you can make make a deception sh- or make a performance check to pretend to be dead. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't want to do that. Because this is acting. Uh, I'll show you acting. Oh, <laughs> to uh, me. Calvin's own character. I'll just, what are you doing? I'll get up and shoot it. Okay, make it attack. I'll get up and shoot it. 17. 17 hits. So 2d10 fire damage. Bitch. Five. Five points of damage. Hitting it straight across the back. Much faster than the others. Can I attempt to high five? No, you don't have an action or a bonus action luck. Then you ain't a rogue. You could duck. I'll give you that. Or you can get back on the ground. Which would you prefer? <laughs> I'm taking cover. You're ducking underneath the table. You, uh, you have some cover. That's fine. Just try not to get jumped. You know what? Like, hi. Just... Like, he goes <laughs> under the table. <laughs> yeah, the child is. Um, all right, Jacqueline. But that, um, he can't get that he pounce then. Uh, I guess I'll take... Um... You're under the pain, right? It's turn. Huh? You're, no, you, you saved. That's right, you saved. Mm-hmm. Because you used your D4. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will take a. Uh, I'll shoot it. All right, fireball. I can't think of words apparently. Fire! Come on, Natural point. All right, forty <laughs> ten. You re-roll once. Yeah, a lot of nat twenties. Oh. Yeah, I haven't been rolling well at all. <laughs> I've had a few yeah. dangerous attacks. Yeah. Okay. Three that, three. That is shit. I think technically your most dangerous okay. attack was Cal. Uh, 13. So that's 16. Did 19? The 19, I was gonna say. Okay. Five, 19 points of damage. Oh, wait. I rolled a 7 and 8. Yeah, that's 15 uh, plus 6, so 21. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Way higher than your 13 that you were going with first. <laughs> Jeremy's the killer. Bad mass. <laughs> This like energy shoots from your hand, and right where like the head turned to look at the fireball, and you see Felix duck, hits it square in the face, and blows a portion of its head off, Ooh. and it just leans back, and this black ichor begins to form off, and it's dead. <sighs> All right, out of initiative. So the black ichor thing. I explained to him. <laughs> so he explains to you that they've witnessed creatures like this before, and they've seen them. Months ago, before even traveling to El Torel, they explain the black flasks are have been because they've seen the black flask being used. They don't know what it is, though. We don't know the extent of it. Yeah, they know what it does. They haven't seen what it is. But this could be the enhanced, more a more enhanced version of it, a more dangerous one. Yeah. So what's your guys' plan? Uh, well, well, let's investigate with Rue here, at least. Okay. Look at it die. Uh, Looking into the room, no. it is coated in a thick layer of what looks to be blood and also draconic scales that have lost their color and fallen to the floor. Yep. What I uh, expected. I've <sighs> seen this room before. You've seen identical to this room before. Cobblestone floor, walls, chains embedded into the walls, and also... So much blood. A lot of blood. It's covering the floor, walls, and ceiling. No way to identify anyone in there. It's impossible, uh, actually. Not anything in there. If you go up and investigate the bodies, you can recognize them to be figures that were described to you. I'm definitely investigating. You yeah. made a wrong. Well, one of them seems. Yeah, roll investigation. You too, Colfer. Ten overall. Ten overall. Um, looking at them, they're hard to recognize, especially the kid, because part of his head is definitely gone. Um, after they're down and this black acre kind of pours out from them, their pale skin gets, like, 
even paler to the point of where the draconic scales just fall off like they're brittle pieces of chips. Do I see innkeeper? You do recognize a dwarven innkeeper. You recognize a fairly younger man, maybe in his 20s. An old man. An older man. And someone that you don't recognize at all. Their hair is completely gone, and they seem to be pale. You can tell it's a woman, but you can't tell who. Do I know it? No. Well, we found our missing people. Yeah. This is what they usually. This is what the color of the dragon usually does. On. Well, you guys know these bodies. Oh, sorry. Right. Uh, Rex, you would have seen this person because. This person is the wizard woman that was in the cart before. <gasps> Though she looks like she has been here for many weeks. Oh shit. Her body's malnourished, and of all the creatures that have been in here, her um, physique and her arm have clearly been more solidified than the rest of them. How heavy are the bodies? Dense. The ones with tendrils are easily a couple hundred pounds by themselves, even though their bodies look to be completely withered. The ones with the snouts are a lot lighter. However, when you pick them up, there's like this, this like liquid sloshing inside of their bodies. Do you want to try to get any of these? I think I'm thinking of a different person. It's the wizard that you traveled with. That was. We can't let the people in the town know what happened. Grand Maven's cart. The one that was with. But Connor. we will tell people that we need to tell the town guard. Don't I actually, I'm pretty sure you would have seen her this? because I mean, you were out of the car when that. the whole thing with Gopher happened. When he fell, we told them when he was sure sleeping, that whole pain was hitting him. People. I thought we were mentioning that, that she's experimenting. I was not here. <laughs> Regardless, you would recognize them based on people's description of her. Guys, but anyways, this thing is gonna happen to me. Actually, I don't think we mentioned that they were experimenting on people. We. I did you? I think I said it as a possibility. Yeah, the there was a there was there was somebody that okay. definitely said they might be performing experiments. Because so, we dealt with the yes, that was back yeah, with so the, the sigil, knows. the first sigil in the tag, and possible experimentation. So we need a body. We should bring a body when we leave, at least for I mean, identification. I don't know if we could. I don't really see a reason. Yeah, we had just tell them. We, we, we just tell them like that. Yes, it was experimentation. Yeah. It was exactly like we feared. They're well, gone. They're dead. There's nothing we can do about it. Don't worry. I'll I'll take a picture of this. Click. We, yeah. So we found all the dead. We found all the bodies beneath one of the most from what we well, from water deep. All right. Well, well a pretty from the famous <coughs> person. I was in space. I mean, we have evidence, but we shouldn't just leave yet. No, not yet. When will we leave? We take a body with. If we can. We'll just go down to the next level. Yeah, he has Before a motion. bag of holding. Yeah, his bag of holding. Hundreds of pounds in the bag of holding. Can we carry it? We could carry the key. You still have that <laughs> breast, breast, breast plate. Breast plate is by itself easily about 40 pounds. Yeah. You know I still have that in there, right? Yep. Okay, I can say. No, I know. Has been like oh. home. <laughs> <Don't laughs> <don't. laughs> <laughs> just by <laughs> slayer. <laughs> oh, no. Again. No. All right, so um, let's get moving. We set to the next level. We should hurry. Okay. Same marching order. Same yeah. marching order. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. Okay. Ca- I'm gonna cast a level two spell. I'm feeling word to heal myself. All right. Uh, roll out magic. I guess we're gonna continue stealth. Fourteen. Oh man. Tyler's like, shit, come on! I mean, I'm fine with it, whether or not you guys get them. Okay, good enough. Uh, you no longer have to pass without a trace. Yep, no longer pass without a trace. Oh, so do we have, uh, do we, well, how long does the thing last for the searing pain? It lasts a minute, so after some so, okay, time, you guys would have been fine. Alright, let's get going. Much. Alright. Or we'll do it for health first. I'm... I just healed myself, so I'm feeling pretty well. I'm guessing my I am uh, missing a Since we're done, Kyle, my tip is gone, right? Hmm? My tip one. My one. Did you one tip of your point? Yeah. No, it's gone. No, that's, that's gone after a short rest. rest. Okay. I have 15 out of 32. What does that mean? <laughs> Means half. What are these no, no, I'm, just, yeah, I'm, what sorry, is I'm, talking, I'm talking about. What do you I mean? am bloodied. 
<laughs> you can see he is wounded. He has a huge bite mark on like his shoulder and collarbone that completely is not fully healed. You can see actually like bits and pieces of black flex from the teeth are still left in his shoulder. And also, I'll, I'll, also, Sakaris, I'll tell you this now, I one shot him. <laughs> Who can and he's got huge cuts across his body. Who can spare a healing flow, Felix? I can spare the second level slot. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> that would be not meant in this world. I have nothing to help you all. You got stuff to help you. You got second win for yourself. I got second win. Yes. What is this, Borderlands? Shut up. I wish that that was. Yeah, it's not one that brings you back to life. So what? What do you? So if anybody's dropping any healing, that's up to you. How are you doing, Gopher? I'm he didn't fine. get hit. He's no, doing fine. Right. Uh, 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 yeah, that's six. I'll spend two first level slots to heal or healers. Okay. Uh, do one at a time though, just yeah. in case. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you roll like an eight plus your wisdom, he might not necessarily need it. Well, first dice was an eight, so that's twelve HP. Do you want another bit of healing? Because that would put you at, what, 27 out of 32? I'm at... I got 8 out of that? You got 12, because this is plus his wisdom. Is it 12? Or did you... Is, or is it 8 total? 12 in total. Yeah, he rolled an 8 plus 4. I'll... We'll see. Save it for now. Oh. All right. Let's continue onwards. All right. Mush. Heading down this alleyway. alleyway. See a door. You see a singular door. Okay. Do I, uh, make it magic? This door is right? big. It's about okay. 10 feet wide. So it's like, um, it's like a, a double door. But right. it looks to be like a singular door. Do we hear anything behind it? No. I'm going in, guys. I open the door. Open the door? Okay. I'm gonna have to draw it because I didn't have enough space. God so damn it, Taylor. <laughs> so you're just gonna waste everything here? Yeah, because now it doesn't matter. God damn it, Taylor. I don't have the space. I, I can't clean that without Lysol. Clorox. Lysol. You're handy. Hmm? You're doing a really good job of this, friend. What? Did I grab three? Yeah, did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I honestly didn't even notice. You gotta figure this folding all, all on top. Yeah. I, I don't remember doing. It. You, you I have Alzheimer's. Talking, fine. So. Well, you weren't looking at it. You trying to. Yeah, you just oh, okay. It. That makes sense. Then. So like, e- well, we sort of. It's it's still only an hour thirty five. I'm talking about like do we have to remove it while you draw this? No, no, no. Okay. Because this is this is immediate sight. This is the door. Double door. Yes. That's not brown like they always were. Because I don't know where brown is. I don't know where it is. Continue drawing. Just draw. Use pink. You said red. This is the long hallway. <laughs> no. Jared. That's why I can't. This is why I don't have good handwriting. My hand doesn't stay steady. Enough. Dude. That's, what she said too. That's why I can't jump off properly. Dude. Oh. You don't, dude. This is just a long hallway? It's just a long hallway with about steps that go up about 15 feet. Goes deeper in that, here. That's going back upstairs again. And it stops. There's just, just dark at the end of this. <laughs> And you guys, <laughs> yeah. Jack the, right. the entirety of this room is just pitch black, by the way. Gopher, you can't see shit, so you guys can only see about 60 feet ahead of you. Uh, a re- uh, Felix can see 120 feet, which means you can see pretty much to the end, but it still cuts off at about end of here, uh, it looks so like. I don't see anything. There's still nothing in here. I recommend yeah. we charge through. Stealth. But it could be in, in the yeah, it could be, be Indiana could be, Jones up in there. There could, be, there could be traps. If we trigger any, we should be able to move fast enough. Keep it in your same <laughs> yes, till we hit position. Trash, stealthily. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if we hit that trap stealthily, we won't be able to be moving too slow to dodge it. Can I make a perception for traps? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> What'd you say? Can I make a perception of traps? Uh, make a perception check with disadvantage because it's dark. Oh, that's true. He has goggles. Still dark. He has yeah. goggles. That's still fine. <laughs> he has it's goggles. Still dark vision. 
It's like the same reason why Felix didn't look inside that room and give, gather a whole, whole lot. He just saw something was embedded into the wall. I doesn't know what it was. Oh, that's unfortunate. Another one. There. That's the opposite. <laughs> that is near opposite. You dropped the zero off of that total. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Uh, it looks like a long hallway. You can tell that the stone is uh, stone. And uh, there's probably some torch sconces in here that are just not lit. <clears throat> As you guys are going forwards, are we? Wait. Are you guys stealthing or not? We should stealth. Just stealth. I mean, we could. Uh, we should at least move carefully. Yeah. Also, move carefully. All right, move. Well, you say you move at half pace. So moving your half pace forwards. As you get out to about here. It's a giant boulder. <laughs> the door behind you. Closes, yeah. And the torch sconches up to about here, and this area behind it is still dim. And you hear a voice emanate as what looks to be about three blades just lift off the ground directly in front of you, pointing oh. directly at you here, here, and here. Blades? Blades. Okay. Long swords. What was the purpose of coming here? You knew who I was, you knew who I am. So why even come? Because we're corn. <laughs> Least nutritional of all the vegetables. As the carrots is probably still holding. <laughs> right. I throw the empty can of corn towards it. Okay. Uh, make a dexterity check without proficiency, obviously. Ten. Okay, as you throw it, one of the blades just kind of like skirts away from it and just clatters to the ground, just pouring out from the can. You and I have unfinished business, friend. And if you have questions to ask you and answers to get, then ask your question, because you're not going to be getting the answers. Probably not that you seek, anyways. Little red one. Surprised me to see you. I thought you would have been cowering beneath your boots, hiding like the shell of a man. Well, right now you mean they're just it? I found the strength that you people can never provide me. It's funny you say people like me can't provide you when. I'm just a simple businessman. I'm not a member of your so-called cult. You did that of your own choice. Don't you put your blame on me. What a simple businessman had this kind of mansion filled with I traps. I do well. And I prepare myself to be defensive. And would also a simple, simple businessman have Experiments in there testing on townsfolk. You know, the experiments that the Sparks would conduct. Sparks didn't do any of that. So you did this on which, your own accord? Which woman did that? I didn't do any of it. I only allowed her to create a facility so that way she can do what she does. does. This is how businesses work. You give and you take some. Why do you have your portrait upstairs? Her portrait. I like to remember the past. Spoke fondly with her. She believed me cold heartedly, full heartedly. Until she started to get too curious, asking about what kind of jobs I do, how I earn my money. That's when I became suspicious of her, little bitch. <coughs> but I still did nothing. You're the one that took your own mother's life. I look over. With confusion. I've done a lot of bad things to a lot of good people. But you, my friend, I think I'll enjoy killing. Hmm. <laughs> You think you're going to kill me? I've lived in this mansion 
for a while, doing sparks in my business for a while, being relatively young myself, I plan to retain what I have. I plan to keep my job. I plan out my life. You are not one that's going to direct me. And in that moment, all the lights fade. And you hear the, the swords going towards you, and nothing happens. They go straight through you. And you hear. Ahead of us or behind us? Ahead of you. Oh. Um. I cast Daylight. What was that, Zakaris? You, you cast Light on yourself? Yeah. I okay. cast Daylight. Where? Uh, above us, I guess. Okay, because the ceiling goes about, um, from where you're standing, the ceiling goes up 30 feet when you're casting this. So, it's hard to tell initially, but the ceiling definitely goes up 30 feet, and then these go up 15 feet as you're going up the steps. But, you're casting Daylight. How much daylight light does that make? Quite a bit. What's the range of where you can put it? <coughs> let me look. I'll use a d12. Because... Uh, range of 60 feet, and it emits uh, 60 feet of bright light, an additional 60 feet of dip. Okay. As you put it, generally like in the middle of the room. Sure. Okay. Put it up into the ceiling. Everyone can suddenly see as what is charging directly towards you is a 15 foot tall construct of several different plated metals and massive fists that have to seem to be jutted out from the elbow, these large piston-like devices. And it's standing far closer than it may seem. Where's my figurine for it? I just had it. Like, what is it? It's a... It's a large construct. Okay. That plated metal and it's charging at you right about here. It's a robot! Everyone roll initiative. Jordan, it is actually a Gundam. Huge drop from mine. Felix. 20. 20. Jackie. One more than Ryder. <laughs> yes! Good job, Seven. buddy. Seven. Zacharis. Asparagus. Please tell me you got 20. What'd you say? Seven. Woo! Oh. Go for it. What did you get? <clears throat> you got an 18 plus 5. 18. Go 23. Alright. Rex, you're starting this off. As you see emerging from this bright light, just this massive mech standing 15 feet tall, and it's just charging full of arms gung ho towards you. Well, towards your group. I'm, assu- I'm assuming the door is behind us is locked, so I'm gonna. Oh, <laughs> what the? He had Where did that come from? The camera. Weird. What the? He literally sent it to the center under the If I hold my action for a defense, it just adds five? It, if you're taking the defense action, it, it adds two to your AC. Add two? Yeah. And the dodge is disadvantage, right? Or Dodge gives them disadvantage on the attacks against you. Um... I'm gonna hold my. I'm gonna do a, the dog action. Dog the, action. The dog action. Okay. And you're staying put. Mm-hmm. All right. Felix, you're next. Uh, I'm casting uh, second level scorching. Second level scorching. Yeah, I did or just scorching. Scorching. Uh, how many second level spells is that? Does that make two? One. That makes one. 
I thought you used one in the other room. I no. Used one. Oh, you used. I one. never used the second one. Right. Okay. Because so, I went dead. Yes. So go ahead and roll to attack three times. Uh, roll my magic. Wild magic. Yep. Plus, is it what is that? Eight. All right, you're good on wild magic. All right now, roll three attacks. Who do I three. shoot? You don't shoot anyone but one, two, and three. Ugh. So you guys see that your Scorcher Ray fires off, and in those moments, it just brushes them off, just <laughs> bouncing off of the metal plates that are charging towards you. You can see that there's like some kind of um, material underneath the metal and different bits and pieces. It looks like it's literally wearing metal plates of armor. Um, that's your action. Bonus action. Movement. <laughs> You're gonna try to hide. Nah. Yeah, I'm in the back of the group. I got I got bodies. Alright, <laughs> um to say. the field's action. All of the torch sconces that turned on, which was about three on each line, get significantly brighter and much hotter. So the ones that are directly above you are so hot that it's giving you, starting to make you sweat. It makes what it, is it, those torches? Or it's their bright torch sconces okay. that immediately the flames just go <laughs> and ignite till they reach the top of the ceiling. So they're, they were 10 feet up, so now the flames are up 20 feet tall. And they're just blaring from both sides. So I'll mark them on the map of where the torch sconces I'm are. Taking fire damage. You're not taking fire damage, but it's making you sweat in this entire room. No, we're dead. No, the whole party dead. Um, it will also then be the mech's turn, anyways. So there, here, and it's so here's my question. This is gonna be important for future turns. But they still count as torches. Depends on the magic, I suppose. Why? Uh, because I can have a cantrip that I can use that I can uh, light or snuff out a candle, a torch, or a small candle. I mean, I think it's bigger than a small campfire. Yes, the fires are much taller than a small campfire. Well, I don't, I don't think it's the flames themselves. I'm, I'm gonna this, count it as it being okay. bigger than a small campfire. The, box. <laughs> the next turn, as it charges, it moves. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And puts both arms to Gopher and uh, Ryder. And the piston like devices <laughs> oh. punch forwards. First attack against Ryder. That is a 15 to hit. Misses. Misses. Attack against Gopher. That is a 23 to hit. Alright. No, you. <laughs> you duck as the oh. piston. <clears throat> this blast of air shoots out from his hand almost from just the punch. Gopher, this hits you straight in the abdomen and just <clears throat> launches you. Make a strength saving throw. Do you have like resistance to. Well, even if he's not raging yet, it hasn't been his turn to rage. Yeah. Once he rages, he'll be good, but this is uh, gonna. Pre rage. <laughs> Pre rage. Can you just use his, his reaction to the strength saving? Strength, strength saving throw. Fuck. Seven. Seven? Okay. You get punched. Um, you take from the punch 16 points of bludgeoning damage and are launched 10 feet back. Or sorry, 15 feet back. Slamming into Randall and slamming into Jacqueline. You said 16. Yes. You two need to make strength saving throws. When did I become? Randall again. <laughs> uh, Felix, damn it! I've been so good at calling you Felix. Why is it now I'm saying Randall? Oh, it's been a long I think it's Rex and Ryder. Uh, I was doing fine off. with it the other day. Was. Correct. You're also not prone, Gopher. What's your total? This is a saving Ten. throw? Ten. You, you, fall, you fall prone. This is a saving throw. Fifteen. Alright, you stand. Like, you get hit by Gopher and just kind of come to a skidding halt. You stand, Jacqueline's blown back from you. And 
and that's the <laughs> next turn. Go for the balls for my hands. I stand up. Stand <laughs> up. You motherfucker! Fucking rage. Yeah, you can feel there's probably a few broken ribs. You're just... I'm pissed. <sighs> and you run up. I run up, uh, reckless attack. You know what, to be honest, I want to try to knock it down. Like, How are you going to do aim, that? I'll aim for like one of the meat ones. Okay, it'll make the attack difficult to hit. Alright, All right, go ahead and roll the attack. Is it disadvantage though? No, nope, you have advantage, but the AC is higher. Okay. <laughs> 16 to hit, does not hit. You go to swing, oh. and you hit into the back, and there's this like, it's a different material, that's what you're going for, it just juts its leg out, it pivots a foot, and it just brushes into the metal and completely skids off. That's your turn. <clears throat> it is Jacqueline. I will get up. Stand up. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to start with Firebolt, I guess. Firebolt? Alright, go ahead and roll to attack. Alright, 16. 16. You fire this blast and it comes straight up into the chest piece and it skids off. Shoots into the distance. Sakaris. I'm sweating. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um. My last second level slot. Moonbeam. Right on top of it. Uh, does daylight fade then? Yep. Alright. It's dark. Well, it's not dark anymore. The flames... <laughs> Yeah, are igniting sick. this room. Um, I'll use this for Moonbeam instead then. Well, I'll use a D... Because it lasts 10 minutes, does it? Or does it last oh. a minute? Sorry. So last a minute, I'll get a D10 out. Up to a minute. Up to a minute. Okay, I'm going to get a D10 out then. So I'm going to keep track of the number. Eight, eight, eight. All right. Moonbeam down right on top of it. <clears throat> so it's a what? Dex save? Constitution. Yeah. Oh, Constitution save. Um, twenty-eight with an extra point. Little, yep. little pass. Yep. All right. Uh, so it still takes damage, though. It still takes half damage. Half damage. Yep. Takes five points of radiant damage. Five points of radiant damage. Is that already halved? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, this moonbeam like of energy just kind of falls down towards it. You see bits and pieces of metal are just kind of shining. It's definitely being somewhat injured, probably not by a lot. <coughs> All right, Ryder. How high is the ceiling? The ceiling is 30 feet up, and okay. when, now that you're looking at it, the flames are lifting it. You can see that bits and pieces of kind of dirt fall from the ceiling. It's not a lot, but it's some. Okay. Uh, so, uh, if I use something off my DOS, is that an action? Yeah. Yeah. You can cast a bonus action spell after that. Yeah. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I'm gonna cast fly myself. Okay. I'm gonna fly over him. Uh, we are out of space on the camera, which is fine because it's really strictly only a straight hallway, and we're gonna be ending here shortly. I'm gonna fly over him. Okay. Go behind them. Okay. Um. So you're still keeping within melee range. Yeah. Um, okay. No, like farther back. Okay. So you're gonna take an attack of opportunity. Yeah. Just okay. In that moment, just this. Uh, 21 to hit? Yeah. Make a strength saving throw. Yeah. And a constitution saving throw. Make a constitution saving throw first. Uh. Uh, just 14. 14. 14. Okay, you save. Okay. So now roll the strength, you get pushed. 17. Mm-hmm. Okay, you take 11 points of uh, bludgeoning damage as this fist just... <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna fly... How far can I fly back? And what was your strength save? Uh, my strength save? 17. 17? Okay, yeah. yeah, you do save. So how far can I fly back? Um, well, you have fly speed of 60. I'll fly back as far as I can. Okay, so you went up to yeah. run around. So you would have to go 15 yeah. over, land, and then you're just going straight up yeah. across. So you can go 15 up. 45 forwards, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Okay. Avoiding the flames as well, okay. just kind of going around. And, uh... And you're 15 feet in the air. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say out loud, typical, simple, typical merchant, 
can't fight your own bow battles, you coward. Make a perception check. Eight. Okay. There's no response. Okay. So then I'm gonna. I'm not sure if this is gonna be another action. I'm gonna use the horseshoe. Um. What's the? What does it say on the card? Does it say an action to use, or does it say a bonus action? Okay. Put... <laughs> right here. As an action. Okay. Yeah, it needs an action. Okay. Then I'm just gonna cast another healing word on myself. Okay. Wild well, magic. Eleven. Okay. Ooh. That is what I keep with the. <laughs> he fucking. Ex he just teleports away again. <laughs> Into the, into the end of the plane. <laughs> this time there's a, there's a table and a teacup. <laughs> He's just leaving like small notes at this point. He's just, like, How much damage did I take from that? 12? 11. 11? Okay. We good. Oh, uh, okay. yeah, I used more than 10. You heals. Okay. Top of the initiative order. Rex. I'm gonna go to my stone stance. Stone stance? Okay, so you got half movement. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack it three times. Okay, you step forwards. Uh, yeah, it's going to do a stance as a free action. Just, <laughs> you basically feel the rocks beneath you just kind of like move okay. as you're just slowly walking towards them. Take your three attacks. Move those D4s. Oh. That was a 15, so that one is 15 plus what? Nine. So that's 24. 24 is gonna hit. Second attack. 17. Uh, 17 will not hit. 17 will not hit. Jesus Christ. Oh, Natural no. one. Okay. Um, so your first one hits, and then because in stone stance it adds two to your total, right? Mm hmm Okay. You can get these 10, 18. Yeah, because your AC is up by two oh. as well now, right? Yep. Okay. My AC and my attack is up. Mm. Okay. Two. Um, to damage, not to hit. Just yeah, to damage. damage. Yep. Okay. So one plus... Five, plus eight. So nine points of damage. Nine points. As you just slash into it, the blade itself kind of gets into that metal a lot thicker, and you yank it out. It kind of cuts in deep, and you yank it out. Mm -hmm. All right. That's your turn. Felix. Oh, plus Felix. Wild magic. I'm shooting again. Okay. Right. okay. Wild magic. What is it? Eight. Still. All right. Good. All right. Three twenties. Go. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one. All three hit. So it is six d six. Eighteen is the magic number. So it looks like four. You were close with a narrow miss on that on that uh, seventeen. Motherfucker! Got a couple of fours in there. Well, if I have enough, well, well, it's it's average. average. 10, 18. 18 points of fire damage is just this. <laughs> and they kind of collide into the shoulders. Some of it kind of gets brushed into it and c gets into the uh, material that's underneath <coughs> the metal and it gets red hot. It seems like the metal or the material that's underneath is a lot weaker than the material that's on the outside. It's a dangerous damage. All right, that's your action, bonus action and movement. Put. All right, we go over to the, the field's turn. In that moment, the lights are snuffed out. It is pitch black, gopher, you cannot see. And in that moment, so he has back, advantage? He has advantage against gopher. Well, he would have had advantage against because he used rifles. <clears throat> so super, super attack. No. Three dices. Uh, uh, what's your AC now? Your AC must be like 19. Mm -hmm. Man, that's how you did that thing. Than the Gundam. You're, you're stronger than a Gundam! First attack against Gopher is an 18. Well, actually. Yeah. Uh, 27? No. No. Yeah, the 18 hit, 27 doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if it doubles your AC, it misses, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. Son of a bitch, I hate that. that was there for my turn. New roll? New roll? Yeah. Attack against. Uh, oh, that's. 17? No. Just Ooh. misses. It would have hit, though. Uh, strength saving throw. With advantage, because you're raging. Nice. I still take damage though. Nope, you don't take damage. The attack missed. Oh, okay. 
18. 18, okay, you stay put. This time it hits you in the ab, and then you're just... <sighs> you take half yes. damage. Yeah, they're like, but yes. no way so this time. You feel, you feel your rib get put back into place. It actually feels <laughs> nice. <laughs> Especially with this shitty damage. It feels nice. Take four points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, already have. Hell yeah, baby. I rolled a one and a three. Nice. So... Wait, what low. The fuck am I doing? So you take four points of bludgeoning damage, and this time it actually like, fixes your rib. You're like, thanks. Thanks. Punch. <laughs> I'll show you a real punch. All right. I'm actually hurt. Though. I'm actually hurt. Though. Yeah, it's, yeah. You're pretty fucked up. I'm fucking hurt. Uh, go for retaliation. Hell. <laughs> reckless attack. Is it? You'll be at this. You'll be at. You'll be at normal if you reckless attack. Okay. Not twenty combat. I can feel it. Hold on. Let me read something. Me. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. 13 will miss. You, you swing, okay. and in the dark, you just hear ping, and it bounces straight off a metal plate. No. Hit you in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I take. You no. Know. <laughs> uh, you have bonus action. Well, yeah, you have bonus yeah, action to movement if you wanted to do anything. If you have a potion, you can drink that. Wait, does. Who did your dad give you one? Yeah, uh, he did. Hurt him. That was in his turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, he has to make a constitution saving throw against Moonbeam, yeah? Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because it's Uh, 25. Uh, and it fails. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll heal. Right. He minor, still takes damage from the wind beam. Minor. Yeah, That's two D4 plus two. Six points of radiant damage. Six points. Alright. Oh, no. Four. Yeah. Hmm. One and one. Yeah. <laughs> this one's been old. Clearly, they've had this before traveling to Eltra and kind of just. I mean, yeah, out of the it's potion. the one we stole. Oh, it's the one you stole from Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It, this one's kind of like, eh. it's got the it's scent of, of thievery on it. You feel like this karmic energy. You felt too guilty. You can't really drink it. This, this karmic energy is making it just kind of sip out instead of actually pouring down your mouth. You only get a little bit. Of, yeah. <laughs> then the rest of it just kind of coagulates and solidifies. <laughs> It's just water. I think I got rid of my cold. You watered it down. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, Jacqueline. Um, you know, how about on top of the, uh, Moonbeam? The Moonbeam. Let's do, uh, let's do Cloud of Daggers. Cloud of Daggers? How much is that range? That is 60 feet. 60 feet, you say. Mm-hmm. This is still on turn zero, technically. Because it hasn't been Zacharis' turn yet. Um, well, what's the what's the radius of that spot? Uh, it's a uh, five feet. And five last, foot radius. last minute. Yeah. All right, we're gonna use for a cloud of daggers this red one because it's bloody. Ten feet, you say? So where are you putting it? Just right on top of the thing. Okay, so on his face. Just here you go. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That'll, that'll also be ten turns. Are we in the range of that? No, if it's above him, it's not gonna hit you guys because it's fifteen feet up. So she he's she's basically putting it above him. Oh, I thought it was like. Down. No, 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 no. It's like a 10 foot radius area, so it's basically like a sphere in the air of uh, okay. of daggers. Just around it. So, what does it do? It does is, uh, I mean, it. I cast it, it doesn't do damage right away. Uh, it's uh, any creature within the cube take 4d4 slashing damage when they enter or start turning the cube. Okay, well, I'm gonna say that it's entered it because it's not filling the whole thing immediately. <laughs> So it's gonna take oh, okay. the damage right now because the daggers are literally going straight into him. <laughs> oh, okay. This in in the last one shot. That's how. Yeah, but that that creature was smaller, oh, so okay. it actually fit in the radius. This is a fifteen foot tall creature, and okay. if you're putting it above it, that means the sphere isn't necessarily encompassing it, so it's gonna be hitting it anyways. Okay. So forty four of piercing damage, magical piercing, damage. slashing, slashing, piercing. Damage. Eight. Eight points of slash damage. It's just... It's like a spinning sphere of blades. It's like a spinning sphere of a... Uh, um, it's like a spirit ball of just... Of just blades. And then does it... Does it take that damage at the end of every one of its turns while it's still there? Because it's a concentration of... Yeah, damage. it'll take the damage at the end of its turns. Yeah. Or, or it starts its turns. Is it yeah, starting? yeah. It, it's when it ends or starts, so... Okay. So let's I do it end or same... Do the, it's it's, it's, it's in start or enter. But, anyways, that, yeah. uh, roll with wow, magic. Yeah. Yeah, wow, man. Yeah, I can't change that. Shit. Bam. 16. Okay, good. Alright. That's our first one, man. You, uh, that's it? 
Um, bonus action, movement. I don't know if you're going to need this concentration. No. I will, however, move closer. Okay. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20. You can... Yeah, I'm going to move to the side. Okay. Yeah. Actions. No. I mean, I could use sorcery points to make something a bonus action. True. Wait, did you move behind Gopher? Where you want to be? If I'm going to do what I think I can do, yes, that's precisely where I want to be. Um, well, well yes. ship. Yeah. I will use. Um, can I still use my Uh, well, it depends on what style you're using. I was gonna use uh, Quicken Spell and cast Light on Gopher. You don't yeah, need to do, do that. It. It's a bonus action. Bonus action, it is not. Light is a bonus action. Light I am is one action. Is. One action touch, one hour. Yeah, I am certain Light is an action. Mm -hmm. It says. I, 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 wrote it, I wrote it down straight <laughs> from the book, so. Oh, it's weird. It, it's worded weird on mine. <laughs> so, yeah, it's an action. So yeah. go for the light? So, yeah, okay, yeah. You can use your meta magic. So um, a cantrip counts as a first level spell with meta magic, so you would use um, two. Two, yeah. I mean it, it automatically says two. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know if it was based off the spell cast. No. Okay. So yeah, you so go for in the midst of the darkness. You become blind. You're thinking of light. Your uh, studded leather armor just becomes. You become light. blinded because it's right on you. <laughs> no, but you <laughs> emanate light, so you can see so this massive that figure. Like light and go for <laughs> That's why I got really yeah. scared that you were in the world. Okay. So, with that, we go over to Zakaris. Alright. One if turn. I cast a spell, a leveled spell that is not concentration, do I drop moon beam? No, no. You need to cast another spell that has concentration and focus. Alright, then I will spend a first level slot to cast Ice Knife. Okay. And target his head so I don't. Hit anybody else. So we don't hit your allies. Alright, go ahead and roll the attack. That is 19 to hit. 19 hits. Go ahead and roll your d10 and then it makes dex save. Yes, sir. <laughs> 17! Minus the effects. God damn it. Minus 2. That's it? It's a giant ass robot! Yeah. But it, a, a six in dex is hard to not fucking hit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It takes nine damage from the dagger, okay. and half of ten from the explosion, so five. So five. Alright. You can see it embeds into like the neck and just. And it kind of just freezes some of the <clears throat> pieces of the metal. You can see the metal actually starts to crack some because of the heat from the moonbeam mixing with the cold from the ice knife is causing the. Uh, the metal itself to start to crack in different bits and pieces. That is your action. You have bonus action if you want it. I have nothing to spend it on, so that's it. That's right. My turn. I'm going to talk to him again. I'm going to. What am I going to say? Actually, I haven't thought about this. Uh, no, 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 not going to do it. All right. I'm going to then. I'll use the horseshoe. Okay. I'm going to place <laughs> it down. Boom. You have to stomp on it. Yeah. Okay, so you fly down. Yeah. Boom. All right. Boom. The lower half of your body begins to like morph into this <laughs> disturbing, two penises, disturbing oh. figure of a centaur. As it's the upper half is still you, as well, and the bottom <laughs> half you grow horns that grow atop yep. your head, and uh, you are now a centaur. Can me and Calvin see this? You, you can see it. I uh, Calvin I'm can too. Yeah. Who's Calvin? All right. Uh, Rex can as well. This Rex can be because he's got the goggles of the night on. Okay. I thought the, the light uh, doesn't affect the garbage, right? No, it doesn't affect you. But the thing is, is that uh, there is no other light other than the light cantrip. Mm -hmm. So you're fine. You're welcome. I want you to use your new thank you. So this is the first time he killed in suits. Yeah, yeah. This is the first time that everyone is, well, not no, everyone. Not, not everyone who went to the Feywild. Yeah, everyone that like went to the Feywild. Uh, this is the first time that uh, Jacqueline has seen yeah. it. Because she lost her memory of it. Yeah. <laughs> so you form in place into your centaur body. And, and you still have the fly spell on as um, well. Flying centaur? You can be a flying centaur. Yeah. No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna charge at it now. Okay. So just you have a fly speed of 
uh, 60, so you can hover five feet off the ground. <laughs> move as fast as I can, there's a hit on All right. my charge. With your horns? Uh, well, charge attack. If I move more than 30 feet... You, you have to use your ram, your gore horns. Okay, sure, then. okay. so roll uh, an attack plus your strength. With advantage? Uh, he's he's flanking. So... Uh, you're gonna be... So it would be plus two then? Because it makes my strength up to 12. Yep, brings your strength up to 12. So, so it's plus two. So it's plus one for plus your strength, one. and then okay. your proficiency. So plus... Uh, <laughs> Plus four for the target. Okay. With advantage. Twelve. Uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three is going to hit, so your gore attack does additional damage in addition to the d6 that the normal one does. I believe it does an additional 2d6 or 2d8. It says uh, 2d8. 2d8? What's the gore damage? I think the, the gore damage is d8. Gore damage is the same. Uh, it's okay. If you move 30 feet in a straight line towards your target, you hit with a goal weapon attack. You deal additional. Oh, you deal additional 2 8 damage. Yeah. What's the What's the above? It's a 1d8. It's 1d8. So you do 3d8 of uh, piercing damage plus uh, plus one. Damn. And it's magical because these are fucking magic horns. And I get a plus one or two. Plus one. Nine, ten. Ten. Yeah. All right. Nine or ten points plus of one. piercing damage. You just run in. <laughs> and it hurts initially because you never felt the the pain of horns. You kind of feel like this is what tieflings have to go through if they were to hit something with their horns. And it's it's powerful. It definitely feels like it almost like rips out your horn. But you feel pretty strong and it actually felt, felt invigorating. Don't worry guys, I got the back! Keep attacking from the front! Make a constitution. <laughs> no. Alright, we're gonna do one more initiative run and then we're gonna cut it for now. Rex! Have yeah, yeah, have advantage. Yeah. Yeah, you have advantage. Action okay. surge. Okay. So five <laughs> attacks oh, with advantage shit. in stone stance. Give me that 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 dice tray too. Yeah. Yeah, give him the bigger one. Here, you, you, how many how many I have uh, three guys oh, in okay. each. Well you need one more. Alright, there you go. With advantage, so you roll twice you roll each. twice. Oh? Um? Okay, okay, we gotta. Here's the thing, though. So we gotta keep track of the this numbers. Is, this is 16. I actually moved it this way. So. Oh, that's fine. That's a 16, 17, 15. So those three hit because the these loot. these four would have hit. This one misses because that's not enough. So you're gonna need to roll that I one. I mean, you can still roll all. Of I them. know, but I'm just saying that, that black one is the one. That the black one's the one that missed. Yeah, one. just roll that one first. Okay. Okay, that one's going to miss. So four attacks are gonna hit. Four attacks. They could be um, a still. So. The white one was the dagger. Because it's the only one that's different than the rest of these. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you roll that again. The white one still would hit, but just don't add. Um, just, just keep track. Yeah, I'll keep track of the white one. Keep track of the white one. And everything else. Any 20? No. No, no. 20. Okay, so 20. four hits. Um, so with four hits, it's 3d6. It's 3d6 plus a d4. Plus, because if it's normally six for, because it's, okay, it's five, then plus one for that, so that makes plus eight times three, 24, and then it's just the plus five for the dagger, 29. So 3d6, a d4, plus 29. <coughs> 2d4s? 3d4s. 3D4s. Or no, sorry, 1d4, sorry. 1d4, because you only swung one to the offhand. <coughs> Jordan, Jeez. what? He didn't do anything. He just backed up. You're welcome. So strong. I gave you that. This is Don't throw that. Let's make it Jordan damage. damage huh? <clears throat> Nineteen. Nineteen plus twenty-nine. You do forty-eight points of damage. Oh, damn. I, yeah, I told you my little help. He <laughs> would have literally killed you if that if he did that damage. No, no, no way. No, no. You were down to like ten. Do you? He but had no, the Max stone one too. He's got to get uh, double that. Well, yeah, but he did forty nine. If you were at ten, you would have been at thirty nine negative. And you're right. <laughs> What's I up? murdered the shit out of you. Uh, you had the stone one, right? Yep, I added the stone. I already added it plus eight to those to the <clears> first three, and then plus five for oh plus seven. So it's actually fifty one points of damage. Oh, oh there you go. Because I like, murdered the, the shit out of you. The <laughs> dagger. I didn't add the plus two to. Okay, there you go. So, um. <laughs> So you do 51 points of damage. You guys hear. <laughs> <laughs> There's metal pieces and chunks being ripped out. 
the dagger gets in and the me the material that's underneath it is much more brittle than the metal. And when you bring in your dagger and rip it out, gold coins start to just pour out <laughs> from that leg. Money! I, I started going for the money couch. <laughs> You're, you and it's a lot. It's, it's about 20 or 50 gold pieces that are just flying out of this leg. Oh, we don't. We have to Rex, that's yours. Let's that's keep it. fighting. Let's, let's that's your turn. Thing. Unless you got some movement you want him to take care of. We're staying there. Okay. The next turn. Uh, Felix. Yeah. Oh, Felix. Because I, I see, we, I knew you were to say let's take one more. Let's, I want to do that right uh, there. Yeah, that's a good time to use it, especially during this. That's your one action surge. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I, I don't Thank get an until my scorching ray again. Next. I don't know when you get a second one. We'll look it up. Why magic? <gasps> Yay! What a way to end the night! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I rolled a 10. Yeah! Just watch, I do this high damage. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna, He's gonna, gonna kill me. me. <laughs> I finally just disappeared. Alright, what's your total? 69. 69. Yeah. I actually think that's a disappeared one. No, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Did we have this one before? <laughs> Everyone, nobody's there. What? Everyone has suddenly turned invisible. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, wait, 30 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Everyone but Ryder has <laughs> turned invisible. <laughs> Everyone go! <laughs> wait, including the mech? Including the mech. What the fuck? Each creature within 30 feet turned invisible. <laughs> How do I help? What do I roll? Everyone book it for the stairs. Because this is another Scorching Ray? <laughs> yeah. Your attacks are at disadvantage. Oh, thank god I did my thing! <laughs> you're, you're, you wouldn't, you wouldn't turn uninvisible, because the effect would have happened before turning invisible, but your attacks right. are definitely at disadvantage because the creature is now invisible. Son of a bitch. All right, let's keep track of the ones that would have hit. So it's plus seven, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so the 10 is gonna miss. Yep. So let's let's roll that 10 first, so that way we know whether or not that hits. Okay, that, that one misses, so roll the other two, see if they crit. Oh, oh wait, yeah, no, there's just a disadvantage. disadvantage. Yeah. There's a disadvantage, so that's a seven, so that seven misses. Only so one hits. No, because is, is that a three? Three and six? Oh. Yeah. Son of a bitch. So yeah, your shots fire. I was thinking it was a manage for some reason. No, so the, those three... I just don't sit in the corner now. <laughs> <laughs> I can Fuck. do nothing till this They fire off, happening. and what you thought was there, it's suddenly gone. It's like, oh, uh, oh, uh, and it just hits the walls. Off the I, go, I let it close it down. How don't long does this last? You don't know. <laughs> well, this is going to be very important. The field gets ice cold. Everyone that's oh. touching the ground, there's this like energy that coalesces around it. And when you are sweating from the flames, it's freezing cold. Your bodies are not attuning well to the heat and the cold such in such a fast pace. It's starting to wear down at your energy. And you're feeling a little bit more and more exhausted as this goes. Nothing necessarily happens to you, but you start getting worse. What about, I have the draconic thing, the scales. To... Uh, you're fine because you're cold resistant. But everyone else that's touching the ground, right? Or you're fine because you're five feet off the ground. Yeah. You're basically a unicorn. Yeah, just We're keep jumping the whole time. <laughs> Not necessarily gonna work. You're gonna really tire yourself out that way. Um, that's the field's turn. Mech. Mech. Hits the wall. Doesn't see anything. Just you, Ryder, you here. <laughs> off to the side of you, a fist. Oh, With advantage. Uh, 27 to hit. Misses. Uh, okay, we'll make a strength saving throw just to humor me. Uh, what, would my, what would it be for since it's 12? My strength DC? Plus one. Uh, it's a plus one to your modifier. But that's a, this is a save though, isn't yep, it? Yep, so it's still plus, plus one. one. Oh, okay. Uh, eight. Eight, okay. Uh, oh, that's another D20. I don't know why I was rolling that. I need to roll D8s. Three damage. Uh, you take 15 points of Oof. bludgeoning damage as this fist comes out and just... <laughs> it goes visible. Because hmm? it started its turn. Oh yeah! It takes oh. some damage. Your visibility stays. So it's... Uh, that is 6. 
So when he loses the visible, when he attacks, it's when he casts a spell or does damage. Oh, it's well, not. No. It's not the. It, the effect isn't. The it, creature took damage. The creature took damage, but it's not concentration. Well, no, I think the wild well, magic is not a concentration effect. Well, it's no. It's. It's a visibility says, says when he attacks, you become visible. He becomes visible, I was oh, yeah. just saying yeah, yeah. that. Well, well, after he punches Ryder, he becomes visible. Yeah, I was just saying that. But uh, not, not after he takes damage. Yeah, so you took the, the, yeah, the, the damage, the and damage. you're not prone, and you're not in the air. In that moment, the other fist dangles down in front of you. <laughs> With advantage, because you're prone. Okay, yeah. That That's a 27. Oh, yeah, okay. That's a second 27. Because you're hitting a solid surface, you're taking more physical force of damage from upwards as well. So you take... You're left with that shitty damage. Uh, you take another 15 points of bludgeoning damage. I'm unconscious. You're unconscious. Your centaur form reverts back. Oh, he doesn't get temporary hit points for... No. No, I don't get anything. Just a straight modifier. Your temporary hit points are gone, or your um, centaur form is gone, and your flying is gone. Yep. Just, everyone sees Ryder get obliterated into the ground. Oh, there goes our advantage. Mm. Uh, Gopher. Uh, Bitch! He, takes he does take moonbeam damage. Let me roll his con save. 14! 13! 13, he fails! He's gone! Look at that! It's the fist, and just boom! It's, it's revealing his back arm. <laughs> Hit the joints! You rolled two. T- you two rolled a nine and a ten. Yes, sir. Monster. All right. It begins to burn at the metal, and now that it's cold on the ground, you can see the metal is starting to like wear up, and the metal begins to crack more and more because of the radiant heat from the sun, from this moonbeam. <laughs> so in total, it's how much damage we did? Yeah. A lot so far. That's not telling you. All right, go for. Uh. Since I'm invisible, I can do sneak attack. No, you just have advantage, I think. You you need a finesse weapon to use sneak attack. Not a dagger. <laughs> you could use a dagger. You would do a d4 plus a d6. No, fuck that. I'll, yeah, just, do, I'll just do reckless attack. Until you get further into rogue, you're not going to realize... I don't think you need reckless attack, attack either, because no. you already have advantage. Yeah, you already have advantage because it's blinded. Right. Or because you, you're invisible. invisible for the first so technically, he is blinded. True. True. Well, yeah. Um... Yeah, I'll just do it. I mean, yeah, I'm doing practice today. Whatever. Roll again. Uh, the first one was 11, 16. 16 misses. As you bring it down and you try to cut into the metal, it just repels it off of its thick metal sheets. Damn, I and hate And you're invisible. This guy. And you're uninvisible. Damn, I hate this guy. Jacqueline. Well, I'm going to. Uh, can I. I can get up to hit it with some shot, right? Uh, there's no room. There, there's no room. You would have to try to do it with disadvantage being in between people or try to skirt through it to get to the other side. You could do that. Because he's filling the space, but there's spaces in between his legs. Um, well, I mean, I'm far enough away. I will use my circle, circlet of ice. Okay. Well, that's well, you, you haven't used this one. Your visibility well. drops, but you get advantage on your attacks. So, roll your 3d20. Um, no wild magic, because it's an item. I know. Okay. But I, I was rolling... If, if I rolled both... That'll just be one attack. So just roll both for yeah. one attack. <coughs> First attack. Uh, does it, does it plus five. Plus five, so that's an 18. 18 hits. Second attack. That is a... 21. 21. Nice. Two hits. Yeah. That one does miss. There's one that kind of just shoots out like a little bit of a, like a, and just shoots to the ground. Is... But you do 4d6 damage. 4d6? 4d6, because it's 2d6 per bolt. Okay. 4d6, you re-roll ones. No, I don't. Because this is not your stuff. This is my stuff. You're correct. Flames of Flightless. Ah. Ah. Um, not, that, not that you needed it. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your next two. Nice. What are you rolling? Nice. Two one? Ones? Fuck you, dice. <laughs> was it two cool. ones? Cool. That was 13. <laughs> Full 13 fire damage. Nice. I got almost maximum, and my dice said, you know what? Fuck you. 
13 points of damage as this, these two bolts collide into the bits of metal, and some of them, like, crack even further and sort of break away. Um, oh, go. Zacharis. Finish him off. Hello. You are invisible. Your invisibility ends. Who's left? Rex and Felix. Felix. No. Rex, Felix, and Zacharis. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, Felix is there. Four. Four. Bear Karis. Another race Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, advantage. Roll with advantage, and uh, your visibility ends. Bitch, boom. Twenty-four to hit. I, I believe that beats his AC. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. Yes. Very okay. good. Very did, good. Did you roll twice? So you got it. Uh, dexterity saving throw on his part. You roll twice. Did you? Yeah. Did you roll twice? I did. Yes. Okay. Uh, zero. Well, that's, that's a fail. Are you sure? <laughs> do, do you need to double check? Oh, my oh, actually says dang 15. <laughs> Let me check my yeah, piece of paper again. Okay. Alright, I believe you. Double check. He takes three points from the knife. Okay. And eight points from the explosion. Okay. Last turn of the evening, Ryder. Make a death saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> That one, that's kidding. Five. Five, five. That's one failure. Alright. Let me jot down that damage. Alright. Everyone, thank you for listening. When we come back, we're going to be finishing this up. Woo! Big, big combat going on here. I'm going to take a picture of the screen so that way I can uh, use it for the final thingy here. Or that way, when I come back, I'll know where everyone is. Please leave a comment below that we live or we <laughs> die. <laughs> one like equals one. One like equals one prayer for right if we live. Oh man, that just gives me a lot of dislikes. Oh god. Tell me multiple counts just like. Uh, <laughs> anyways, thank you everyone so so much for listening. This is fun. Uh, I'm finally glad that we're gonna be concluding the end of this chapter, basically. <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank you everyone for listening. We will get back to you here again in another time. Ciao.